eight. Jim. Hello! Oh my goodness, that timing! Wait, that timing! I, w I was even delayed bringing this the screen over because I, I lost my windows. <laughs> oh my goodness, that timing! Hello! Hello everybody! Welcome! Welcome to my um, annual... <laughs> Welcome to my annual World of Horror stream that I always play every year. <laughs> Wait, and nobody redeemed first. Oh my goodness, Rika, congratulations on the first. <laughs> welcome, welcome in everybody. Welcome to a stream which I have been really excited to do all month. I've been waiting until the end of the month to do it because um, I've been making something and it took me a while to do. I'm still not like super happy with it. There's probably going to be a, an upgraded revised version next year, next October. <laughs> But welcome to World of Horror, everybody. I have a great surprise for today's stream. I keep saying surprise. It's not a surprise. I keep talking about it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying like, oh, I got a huge surprise today. It's not like I've been talking about making a character mod or anything. No, no way. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, for anyone who doesn't know and hasn't seen me talking about it everywhere, I've I've had a little pet project that I've been working on for the past um, year and a half or so, probably. Maybe, like, even two years. Since I did the first World of Horror stream and made the pixel art for the thumbnail, <laughs> I, uh, I decided, wouldn't it be cool if I made a character mod to have me in the game? And, like, this game is actually surprisingly easy to mod for characters and, like, events, stories things like that it's really nicely implemented like you there's literally just like you get like a little text document and you get the art and then it's it's in the game it's it's that good <laughs> but i was like you know what i want a lyric character mod for world of horror and i'm very very happy to say that um this stream today this year i finished it <laughs> that that confetti was delayed i pressed the button way sooner than that but I did it! I finally made the mod! And so today's stream is basically gonna be me playtesting it. But it is available to download right now if anyone wants to play as me. I'm gonna be posting in the Discord server. I'll be posting in my Discord server. I might post in the official World of Horror Discord server, but I am a little baby and I don't know if I want to. <laughs> and I'll be posting on Twitter as well and I guess Blue Sky as well. I, I need to use Blue Sky more. I, I always just keep forgetting I have it. I'm Everyone has been moving to Blue Sky recently and I'm just here like, um, I post a picture of Tiffany, it gets a million likes. Maybe it's just the Tiffany the social media. <laughs> 
But yes, uh, I've been working very hard on this. So I hope everyone, I hope people like it. But here is the download link and I'm gonna pin it. I'm gonna pin it. I'm not gonna pin a backseating message this time because I trust people to not backseat. But if anyone tries to backseat, I will just manually do the backseating command with my custom message for today, which is please let me play the game myself or I will cry. <laughs> But yeah, it, it, like this this one isn't like as extreme for backseating compared to other games, but it's I I would like to still say it's my streams are still no backseating streams. <laughs> but yeah, this one isn't like as big a deal. Like I'm I'm not worried about getting spoiled in this game. I played a lot of this game before it was like fully released. I played it before I even started streaming cuz it's been out a while. Cuz I I played a lot of it before I even became a VTuber, so I have been through a lot of the events in the game. They don't show up, like, in the game. Like, if I go to, like, Extra and check out, like, the achievements and stuff, I don't have many achievements because they're actually, like, locally based. They're actually based on, like, the, um, the computer you're playing on. And I played it a lot on my laptop, whereas now I'm obviously playing on my PC. So it's it's been nice. I've been able to, like, re-unlock things and revisit things without having to just like reset everything entirely but but yeah it's very exciting <laughs> it is me but let me let me greet everybody i got very carried away i got very excited but welcome in everybody magrio lovely to see you welcome 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 into the stream you were you were the first to post in chat but rico was the first to do the first command <laughs> fan for action hello lovely to see you welcome welcome Tim, thank you for the the eight gym dude heart. What? Alert! <laughs> thank you. It feels like it's like you know those memory games where you get like a sequence and you have to remember it. I feel like it's gonna end up being that with the sound alerts. <laughs> but welcome, welcome, Rico. Welcome. It is Libby time. Hi, that's me. <laughs> it is time for me to um, hopefully win the game and not the. Um, have things go disastrously but knowing me things probably will go disastrously because <laughs> this is also like technically kind of the play test too I, I haven't had much chance to like fully test out the mod so I really hope it all works properly but I did do a few little oh my goodness wait I'm chibi now <laughs> Alphonse thank you thank you for the chibi okay I'm, I'm explaining everything with a very big head now <laughs> Thank you for the chibi. And hello, Blake. Thank you so much for the 43 month resub. Oh my goodness. World of Lyri. World of Lyri. It's it's my world now. World of horror. Hold on. I can I can fix this. I can fix this. World of horror, you say? How about World of Lyri? I don't I don't want to do this in a white font. This is hmm. Hold on, I can make this work. I can <laughs> oh wait, I can do a background color. Okay, background color will be the same as like the thing. Select the color for the text, which is gonna be the same as the thing. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it, perfect. Perfection, you couldn't you wouldn't even be able to tell I edited it, right? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but thank you so much for the the 43 months. I can't believe it's been that long. That's so wild. And Suzume, thank you for the, the horror violins as soon as I started. That I feel like that alert is gonna be used a lot. Specifically in this stream. <laughs> But yes, congratulations on the first, Rika. I, I, I always find it so funny. Sometimes the first is sniped immediately. I mean, most of the time, I think the first is sniped immediately. So it's always really funny when it isn't. And then people like will come into chat and see people chatting and assume that it's already been redeemed <laughs> and nobody's actually done it. And those are like my favorite firsts. Those are, those are the best ones. Uh. And the surprise is the character mod is actually character mods actually for Tiffany and not me. Oh no, that can be last year. I, last year, even next. Well, you know what I'm gonna do. There hasn't been a redeem yet. You know what I'm gonna do. I think I should have this. 
I think I should have a sippy. Sippy of my drink. I decided we're going peach time today, purely because I wanted to have the peach monster. It was between peach and mango, but I had a mango on yesterday, so I was like, you know what? Peach time. Peach time. It's, it's the meme that's just peach time. It's me right now. <laughs> but oh, that would be really fun as well, though. Like, this year I'll release the Lyrie character mod. Next year I'll release the Tiffany character mod. And Tiffany's just going to be, like, completely overpowered. <laughs> It'd be so good. But yeah, I'm I'm so excited. Also, Brisket, hello, lovely to see you too. Welcome, welcome. Welcome in everybody. Wait, you are so right. You are so right. I should have done Comic Sans. Hold on, I need to fix this. I must fix this. What am I doing? Wait, I have a font called Alien Encounters. What is this? Oh, it's it's that. Okay. <laughs> I have so many fonts. There we go, that's the one I need. Perfect. Right, see, what I want to do, though, is... Hold on, if I do this... No. No, whenever I resize the... The thing, I can't, like, resize it without, like, moving the text. Oh, unless... Hold on. Oh no, that's, that's the wrong way. <laughs> there we go. Here we go, I got this. <laughs> I forgot to save the comic sans. Hold on, hold on, we got this, we got this. Oh, perfection. This is it, this is, this is the quality mod. <laughs> Look at that, it's beautiful. Oh, I didn't mean to show that. <laughs> That's why I'm not playing that game. We're off to a grand start, everybody. Hello, welcome to my stream. I'm a professional streamer and I know exactly what I'm doing. But uh, anyway, this is this is me. Probably wondering how I got in this situation. Record scratch, freeze frame. Yep, that's me. <laughs> but uh, this is... Um, I, I've been working really hard on this mod. Uh, I've been working on this on and off since I started streaming the game like three years ago. <laughs> and I'm extremely excited. Also, Jack, oh my goodness, thank you for the tier two for 31 months. Oh my goodness, spooky leery times. It's horror time. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome. Welcome on in. And also Steamed Bun Invasion 1987. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm here for the Steamed Bun Invasion. That that sounds like an invasion that's not too bad. <laughs> but welcome. But yeah, I'm I hope that everything works. I've tested as much as I can without playing the game too much. But there's still every possibility that some things might not work properly. So I do have the link up if you want to download the mod. If I catch any bugs while I'm playing the stream today, I will fix that and repost it afterwards. But I've I've been working very hard. I've been I've been trying a lot. I really hope it all works well. But I'm excited. I'm very excited to play this. So uh, I guess I I guess I start. Oh, also, Rika, Otto recently bought a case of the ultras, and you haven't tried any yet. Oh, which ones do you have? Which flavors do you have? I have um I have favorites. <laughs> I think, like, when I have to think of my favorites, um, it's always the the Ultra Fiesta, the mango one, the Ultra Rosa, which is the pink can, and the Ultra Peachy Keen, which is, like, the kind of peachy, peachy pink can. Those three are probably my favorites. The strawberry one's getting up there. The Strawberry Dreams monster is definitely climbing my list of favorites, but it has the, um, it has the disadvantage of not being as easy to get hold of for me. <laughs> Like, it's harder to find it. I have to buy, like, the individual cans for the strawberry. And um, that's more expensive than buying a pack of 12. So, <laughs> so that's, like, the only disadvantage it has. But the, the strawberry one is so nice because um, it, it tastes like ice cream. It tastes like strawberry ice cream. I was trying to figure out what it was when I was drinking it. I was drinking it and I was like, this doesn't taste like, like if you're eating the fruit of a strawberry. 
but it's still got the strawberry flavor and I could not figure it out for the life of me. And it wasn't until I was actually drinking the flat can after my taste test stream on my birthday. <laughs> I was drinking it flat after like the fizz had gone. And as I was drinking it, I was just like, this is just melted strawberry ice cream. I love this. <laughs> it was really nice. Yeah, like the gold can, but it's similarly difficult to find. Yeah, that's another one where it's like, if I want it, I have to have like the individual can. But that that one's like the pineapple one. I really like the gold one too. It's like, it's kind of funny because Xander really likes the color gold. But he, he, he hates the taste of pineapple. <laughs> like, like whenever we get rocket lollies in, like ice creams, um, he, he never has them because he doesn't like the pineapple bad. But I just eat them instead. But yeah, the Strawberry Dreams one is really nice. Uh, what did I think to Bad Apple? I thought the Bad Apple one was fine. It was okay, it was just a little bit weak. It didn't really have much flavor to it. So, like, it, I didn't put it very highly on my tier list, simply because it was kind of just, eh. I'll drink it if it's there, I won't, I won't choose to buy it. I kind of wish it had more apple to it. <laughs> But, uh, mind you, I say that as well. When I had the Lewis Hamilton one, when I first tried that, I was like, this is just like the other ones, but weaker. But, um, I've actually... <laughs> I've actually been picking up a few of them when I get the chance, because, um, the local home bargains near me is selling them off really cheap. So I'd, I'll just pick one up every now and then because it's cheap. And the, I, the more I have of it, the more it grows on me. I actually quite like the Lewis Hamilton one. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, um, I... I I still pick my favorites all the time, though. Yeah, I wonder if there are regional ones that you missed out on trying. I think, like, with Monster, they do tend to release everywhere when a new flavor comes out. I don't think there's ones I've seen that have never been available here. I think it's more like the opposite way around. Like, it's more likely that North America has flavors that don't come out in the UK for ages. <laughs> but no, I have my favorite flavors, so I... Now that I've found ones that I love the taste of so much, I, I kind of, like, avoid branching out because I, I don't need to. <laughs> yes, anyway, enough of um, Monster Energy. Who wants to play World of Lyrie? <laughs> Wait, I just realized when I click, the Lyrie's just going to stay on the screen. <laughs> Hold on, let's go. New story. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm no longer Chibi! Wait, okay, so I, I was turned chibi. I just talked about Monster Energy for 10 minutes. And now I'm back. Oh, that actually worked out quite nice. Nicely. Um, I need to move this. Where can I put this? I kind of want to keep it on the screen. Like, what if I just, like, stick it in the corner? Lily, that's me. Oh, yeah, let me put a label over my... Um... There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Oh wait, it's 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 on top of my head. That's not what I wanted. My OBS is a nightmare. I need to figure out my OBS. When I get the chance, when I'm less busy, which um, <laughs> when will that happen? I need to actually go through my OBS because, like, as as you probably saw when I was just going how without a voice, um, I've got so many things on my OBS that are just like image twelve, image twenty seven. I don't know what they are. Like, what is that? Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's me when I was playing Ghost Trick. Like, I don't know what these are. <laughs> I should, I should just delete them from my, my windows. But I haven't done that yet. Hold on, where am I? I just want to put this behind me. Da, 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 da. There we go. It's behind me now. Ah. When I lift my head up, I'm in front of it. <laughs> Yeah, sponsorship one. Oh, when when do I get the Monster Energy sponsorship, please? I don't know, where's my button? There, that one. <laughs> I really love Monster Energy. Hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag please monster. I'm begging. I'm begging. I know you don't need to sponsor me because I'll do it for free and that's probably a waste of resources. But please, monster. Uh, on your OBS, you have an image source called Mimo that you use for showing pictures. See, that's smart. I should just have the same one for every time I want a picture, but I always just add them all as new images. 
Because usually I delete them when I'm done. I just haven't been doing that for the past two months. <laughs> uh, what would a Leary monster taste like? Oh, that's actually a fun thing to think about. I don't know. Because, like, I, I like so many flavors. I like fruity things. I like... Well, I like, like, berry fruits. I like tropical fruits. I wouldn't want them together, I don't think. Oh, but... Hmm. Give me something like apple and passion fruit flavor. That would be nice. Apple and passion fruit. That's that's what I'm I'm gonna say at the moment. I think would be the lyric flavor. I don't know how it would work with monster or if, if it would work, but I think it would be good. I was gonna say the real question would be what would the Liri monster can look like, but that's very um, easy to figure out. It would be pink and teal, <laughs> probably with worms and str on strings along the side. Oh, they actually, I, I i am going to show off the character mod in a second, I promise. But they actually released a new flavor of monster recently. And I saw the can and loads of people started sending me messages going, Hey, Leary, have you seen this? Have you seen this? They made a Leary can. <laughs> oh, where is it? I've forgotten the name of the flavor. But it's like, it's meant to be like this kind of like vaporwave style, I think. So it's a, it's a bit more cyan than teal. But the first time I saw it, I was just like, oh my goodness. Oh, okay, someone's posted a photo of it. I'm just gonna steal some random person's photo. Um, thank you very much, uh, Moore's X Gaming, for this photo of your monster that I'm going to steal for a second. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Look at this! Look at this can! Look at that! Look at it! It's oh, Ultra Vice, it's called. And it's guava flavor, which means I would I would probably love the taste of this. Because anything with like that kind of tropical fruit flavor, I'm I am so here for it. But yeah, I, I saw this can and I was just like, hold on a second. Hold on, I have to try this one. I haven't seen this one anywhere yet, at least not in the UK. So I hope it will be available in the UK. But yeah, I saw that and I was just like, oh my goodness. It's my colors. What? Well, it's not my colors right now because I'm dracula -y. But it will be on Friday. <laughs> but it's so like genuinely... Look at that. Look at that. It's like, what would a Leary can be? It would be like this, but inverted. It'd be like the pink can with the teal detail. <laughs> but it's amazing. It's so good. I love it. Honestly, part of me wants to like bust out my graphics tablet and try and design like, you know how monster cans always have the designs on the left and right now? I want to design what a Leary can would look like. It would be like worms on strings. <laughs> but it's so cool. As soon as I saw it, I was just like, oh my goodness. It's my colors. <laughs> it's my colors. Also has kitty. Hello. Hi. I'm so glad you could make it for the world of horror times. Hello. I did it. I did it! I released my my mod pack finally after a million years. But uh does my character start with two instances of soft drink? No, it's better than that. Right, we will go to customize the playthrough. So I can get my my modded character in. I'll just keep all that on. Uh shall I do a, a random seed? What, what? <laughs> Let's do let's do monster seed. Watch this. Monster. <laughs> Monster seed, let's go. <laughs> oh, I should have just done Leary. I am so silly. I am so very silly. I can't believe that. <laughs> I should have just done Leary. <laughs> I'm a genius. Thank you very much. Uh, can order a can of guava on eBay, but the international shipping is punishing. Yeah, it's it would not be worth it for like a single can. But uh, I, I I believe that it will come out here eventually. I just got to keep my eyes peeled. Got to keep my eyes peeled. <laughs> it's me, silly Leary. But here we go, city of Shirakawa in 1980. Mm. Something strange is happening in our town. 
Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago, are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. And here we go. Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. This is what I've been working on. This is the Leary mod. Hello, I am a cat girl. My name is Leary. My name is approximately four in cat years. I'm female. And the description says, uh, Leary has never once committed arson. Fire just finds her because it's true and just a factual comment to make. But yeah, stats wise, I have very high knowledge. I have very low dexterity. I also have low perception. And I don't have great strength either, so I'm I'm just like a really good character to play as. <laughs> but I've got high charisma, high knowledge. And I start with an energy drink and a torch. <laughs> it all makes fire. Thank you for the fire quote. But yes, and I also have the perk pack Smooth Talker and Me Time, which give bonuses for like having fans and also resting in the bath and things like that. Which, um, that, that, that's me having fans and resting in the bath. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm, I'm really excited. I really hope this goes well. And I hope people like it. But I've worked hard on it. I've got to say, one thing that um, was a little bit sad when I was modding the game, um, I didn't realize, but there's only some, like, status effects and stuff that you can, like, easily mod in. And other ones just don't show up if you have them. But I was still like, just in case it's added in the future, I'm going to um, make all of the pixels for everything. And what I'm going to do is, even though I can't include them in the mod, I've still made them. So <laughs> if it gets added in the future, it's ready. I could just update it like, blam, it's in. Yeah, I'm not helping myself. A torch. Yeah, I, well, it's, it might be dark. It's okay. Look, arson is not like just any situation with fire. Like, if I light a candle, that's not arson. <laughs> but it's okay. Like, having the torch is proof that I don't commit arson because everything's going to be fine with it. Trust me. But yes, I, I don't have a, a super lot. Wait, who's this? Wait, when did I unlock you? <laughs> Wait, I wonder if I unlock this character because I was testing um, giving myself loads of curses and then dying to see if the curse effects would work. <laughs> That'll be very funny if that's the case. But anyway, we're playing as me. We're playing as me. I made me for a reason. I'm excited. I've been waiting 84 years for some changes. I know, it's... It's the one devastating thing about World of Horror. It is such a, a good game. It's so much fun. But with it being like a, a single dev team, like it's the, the updates are far and few between. Like it's still a very solid game as it is, but I, I do long for the ability to give, to like have the holes show up when I get the holes curse and things like that. But it's okay. Also, Sanya Mita, hello. Thank you for the posture check and hydrate and the glasses. I can see what I'm doing. Oh, I, I don't have glasses in the game yet. I didn't add that to my um, my modded character in the game, but uh, that's okay. I don't need glasses in the game. I'm probably going to get cursed and perish. <laughs> but thank you. I will have a big stretch. Sit up straight and I will have a sip of my peach time. Peach time. But yes, it is World of Horror time! Hello, Kura Syllabus! Welcome! Welcome, I'm showing off my character mod for World of Horror. It's, um, I've been streaming for half an hour and all I've done is talk about Monster Energy so far, but don't worry about it! <laughs> but welcome, welcome! Wait, this, this mod was made for me! This is my mod! 
This is my mod. This mod was made for me. And der der der. <laughs> you know, people who've met, dated, married, and had kids between early access and now. <laughs> when did early access for this come out? Because it came out before I was a streamer, and I've been streaming for like nearly four years now. <laughs> but it's it's a good game. It's okay. Right, I am going to. Wait, shall I do it on like an easy difficulty to start with? I, I kind of want to go like easiest to begin. Just so I can just try everything out without having to worry about actually playing the game properly. February 2020, yeah, so it's, it's been nearly five years. Wow, four and a half years. But at least it is out of early access now. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna play on easy, just... This is the demonstration run. This is so that I don't have to try super hard. <laughs> but let's go. Let's go! There we go, classic mode. The old gods are awakening. My only chance of survival is solving five different mysteries. Except it's gonna be four, because I'm playing on easy. Somewhere, a group of people gathers, trying to awaken their master. Oh. It feels fitting. It feels fitting. Could you get a brief uh, description for people who've never heard of this? Oh yeah, I should have done that to begin with, honestly. Uh, this game is, um, it's like a Jinji Ito inspired uh, adventure point and click horror game. It's basically like, it's, it's the kind of game where you like play it like you do runs of it. And what it is basically is you're in this, um, the mysterious town of Shiokawa. Lots of stuff is happening. And there is an eldritch god that is going to doom everything. Unless we do something to stop it. So basically what we have to do is we have to solve mysteries in the town. Figure out what's going on. And then the end goal is to ascend the lighthouse in the town. And confront the, the god to um, prevent everything from being doomed. And it's all, it's all set in the 80s. It's in 1980. <laughs> Unspecified date. I like to think 1984. Because that's, um, that's a completely random number with nothing related to it. Feels very appropriate. Uh, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's a really cool game. It is, it's so fascinating to play. Because you never know how things are going to go. Like, when you have interactions in the game... I guess I can explain better while I'm like actually playing it. But everything is text-based. You get options and then you'll have stats. Your character has stats at the side. And it works on basically like a dice roll system. So you won't know what you're gonna roll for until it happens. And then depending on your stats and what you roll shows if it's like a success or a fail. And different things will happen in different situations. So it's it's a lot of fun. Anyway, the the god we are going to have for this run is it 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 to, to the devouring fire. This supposed cause of destruction of the library of uh this supposed this supposed cause of destruction of the library of Alexandria, a perfect black marble statue has been recently discovered and is currently waiting in the museum of mm, for its long awaited premiere. So my damage and enemies' damage is increased. And there may be fire. But the fire is very clearly not me in this situation. <laughs> Twitch, please. Twitch, please, connection, please keep it. <sighs> right, uh, yep, uh, both you and enemies deal extra damage. Let's start. Here we go, welcome to World of Horror. Important messages will appear here. Here is me. <laughs> here I am. I'm, oh, I'm so happy. I love seeing it in the game. It's really fun. But uh, this is me. I'm playing on easy, so I have 21 stamina and 21 reason. This is like uh, physical and mental health, pretty much. Uh, strength is five. Dexterity is four. Perception is four, because I don't spot anything. But my knowledge is eight. Eight. And my charisma is seven. So basically, I'm going to be kind of useless in fights. But I'm great at figuring things out and talking to people. <laughs> I 
I figured that was like the most fitting for me because I, it's true, I would be terrible in fights. But I'm, I'm not too bad at talking to people and I'm pretty good at figuring things out. And I have six funds to start with because also playing on easy, I guess. <laughs> Did you know you cut? Oh wait, yeah, it's got hot in it. <laughs> Perfect. But yes, here we are, we start the game. This is the lighthouse. Have a little cheeky peek. The ominous lighthouse has been closed down for longer than you can remember. If we choose to enter here, we will see it's locked. We can't enter yet. Multiple padlocks prevent you from entering the building. You need five keys. We've got one key immediately because, um, because I'm playing on easy. <laughs> But usually there are five locks and you need to get five keys by solving five mysteries. That's like the base end goal of the game. But I don't have anything yet, so let's start by going home. Oh, load my preset one. <laughs> and here we go. I check my mailbox, it's empty. Oh, that's, that's fine, I'm sure. And here, I'm at home now. Back in your home, you think of your next move. Right, well, I start the game with an energy drink, which increases my dexterity for a, a mystery, which is very helpful, considering how low mine is. And I also start with a torch, which, um, which is a weapon. It's not gonna be great, but it's something. And um, it counts as a light source as well, so I'm, I'm going to start by just equipping that. That's, I have my torch now. I'm safe. I am safe. But basically, as you uh, continue through the... Um, as you play the game, this little meter at the top will increase. Currently, we're on Doom 0%. If you reach Doom 100%, the town is doomed. And that's the end of the game. So with every action I make, that goes up a little bit. You've got to figure things out before that reaches Doom 100. <laughs> Stop by going home. It's, that's, that's my approach for everything. But ah, oh, you could use allies as a combat action. Oh, wait, that's great. Okay, so basically what I have to do is I have to get a little entourage of fans. <laughs> and yeah, the necklace is, um, it's palette dependent. It's linked with the, the color palette of the game, whichever one you pick. Right, let's, I'm gonna I'm gonna go change clothes to start with because it's not just the one outfit. I did both. <laughs> you can choose. There's my casual outfit and there's my magical girl outfit. And it changes my sprite depending which one I do. Let's stick with the casual one for now because that's what I'm actually wearing. But I'm very happy with how they turned out. I think they look quite good. <laughs> but I made these myself. It was hard. Look at that, that's a nice movie poster. Is there anything else I can click on here? Hey, I found some money. Up it up. I think that's all in here. I can look at myself, I guess. Looking good. I am indeed looking good. Ha ha. Hey, oh yeah, this. Look in the drawer. I found library notes. Oh. Oh, this could be fun. This could be a lot of fun. Gain a random spell, lose reason. I, I don't need reason. I don't need to think. That's not a problem. I'm really tempted by this. <laughs> also, Suzume, thank you for the hydrate and posture check. Sit up straight. I have another sippy to start. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I got the, the seal of Brammel. It just... <laughs> It costs four reason, but I just get plus one knowledge. Wouldn't it be funny if I immediately just start the game like with with very limited reason? Like I'm I'm already kind of losing it a bit, but I'm so smart. Yeah, look at that! I've got nine knowledge now. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look in here. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. Right, so this one has been automatically completed because I'm playing on easy. But the mysteries I have this time 
Uh, Chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. I've gotten both endings for that one. Uh, Bizarre Brute of the Blood Curdling Botanist. I've got one ending for that. There's four endings. Vicious Verses of a Violent Vigil. I haven't done this one on stream yet. And Bloody Brief of a Beckoning Bulletin. Which, uh, there's one ending I haven't got for that. I've got, I've got Loud and Clear and Disconnected. I haven't got the second one. Is that your mystery pack? I do have your mystery pack installed. <laughs> I do indeed have your mystery pack installed. <laughs> but yeah, it's the best things to do in a horror game. YOLO. Gotta, gotta risk it to win, right? Like, playing it safe isn't gonna work in a situation like this. Right, let's start off with the the red coat one. Because I've done it before, why not? Here we go. The Akamanto one. Uh, a new game is spreading among your friends. A dare to stay in the unused school restroom after classes. A dare to meet Akamanto. What was originally harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. The school principal has banned the game, but that's only made it more popular. Akamanto must be stopped before another kid is killed. Let us investigate. Oh, I, w I was going to actually look around the house before I did anything, and then I fully forgot. Next time, after this mystery, I'll do that. But uh, whenever you pick up a mystery, you'll have... It'll tell you which areas you should explore to advance the mystery. But you can also, you also get like bonus things which can help to get different endings. For example, here it's saying gather gossip around about the current mystery. If we can get some more information, that may help us. Let us head to the schoolyard. Oh, hello. Um, right. I, I feel like you'd have good gossip. What is the gossip? It's been so hard to get any sleep lately. Oh, so true. How about you? Hey, when Akamanto asks which paper you want, you must refuse everything. That is good knowledge to have. We have information. And... You know what? What if I just ask all of these to join me? <laughs> hey, will you join me? Yeah, I got student C. Hi, minus one dexterity. That doesn't matter. Mine is terrible anyway. Hi, what about you? Kaeda, hello. Will you join me? Yeah, you'll join me too. Uh, plus one dexterity. Okay, they cancel each other out. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm amassing followers. I've got space for another person. Do I want, want one of these two? It's also very fun how the, like there's the option to just force them to help you. You can just like grab someone and like hold a knife to their throat and be like, "You are coming with me. You are going to help me." <laughs> But I'm not gonna do that because I'm I'm very sweet and nice. <laughs> it are uh, oh enjoy your coffee and cake. I need no paper. I'm environmentally friendly. Well, I mean paper could be recycled as well. <laughs> but hello, sunken shell. Welcome, welcome, welcome to world of horror. I'm playing as the the amazing canon character of Louis. <laughs> You know what? I'll leave space for now. I'll just have two people. You've heard some versions of the legend. Everyone agrees you can't take anything the man offers you, though. So that's good to know. That will help us out. So now, I guess... I, I can just explore. I could have a little look around and not do the mission. Because there are little things you can do. Like, there are shops you can go to. You can go to, like, hospital, and if you have injuries, you can heal yourself. There's an occult shop. Um, I, I used this a lot when I was testing my mod to see if the um, some of the curses worked well. <laughs> and you can also rest and prepare. Prepare is, like, you, you get, like, an item from home. Rest helps you, like, restore stamina and reason, but the doom goes up higher. Uh, there's the apartments with the neighbor. Uh, there's the witch's tree in the forest, which will give you a, a nice little curse every time. <laughs> That's one I unlocked, I think. And there's the hardware shop. And wait, where's the... Oh, here! And here is the regular shop, which I, I need to check out because... Uh, look at this. Look at this. Is this not the best shop in the world? Yes. 
Yes, it's the best shop in the world. <laughs> right, is there anything I want here? Oh! Okay, um... I'm thinking having a map could be good. But I also really like this camera. Wait, I could equip the camera as well. This is slot B, this is slot C, my torch is slot A. I'm really tempted to buy a camera and a map right now. My knowledge is just gonna be so powerful. <laughs> I want the camera. Yeah, I'm gonna get a camera. There we go. Because flash combat action adds a chance to dodge the incoming attack. That could be so useful. Okay, I've got a torch and a camera. And an energy drink. And some notes. Can I, like, just keep learning spells with this? Wait, this could be great. Uh, from your experience with Arkham Horror, anytime someone enters a forest, a portal opens and a monster appears. <laughs> I mean, it could be. But uh, most of the times when I enter the forest, it goes, um, something feels very wrong here, and you have started losing your mind. That's, that's, goodbye. But yeah, <laughs> big brain theory at Mystery One. Yeah, I'm, I'm just here buffing my knowledge. <laughs> Who knows how this will go? I'm really tempted to do, do one more spell. I'm, yeah, you know what? One more spell. Hold on, skin removal? <laughs> Whoa, I got a... a it, it costs three reason to use it, but it does six damage. That Six damage doesn't feel worth it for them. Hmm. Not sure about that one. <laughs> Although, I mean, I, I could forget it and gain a reason and then, like, gatch a spell again. I might do that. Let's get one reason back. Let's do a spell. I lost two that time. It's okay. Oh, oh, that's quite handy, actually. That is straight up. I can just heal, heal, like heal myself for two damage. That's that's a good one. I'll I'll stick with this. I'll stop. I'll stop gambling my reason now. <laughs> but uh, let's let's go to school. Let's see what's going on. Investigate school. I got my friends with me. You enter the art workshop. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. I'm gonna check out the masks. I don't want to head towards a realistic sculpture. Let's have a look at the masks. Ooh! One mask looks similar to the design you once saw in an occult book. You decide to take it with you <laughs> kendo helmet! What occult books have I been reading to get a kendo helmet? That's kind of funny. I was just like, oh, I've, I've seen this in like cult stuff before. It's, it's just equipment. <laughs> anyway, you've reported it to your principal who promises he will take care of it. With your friends safe for now, you should look into the legend. Maybe records in the city's library make mention of Akamanto. Let's go check it out. Let's go downtown. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Walking faster. <laughs> Something is wrong. You don't see anyone on the street, and you could have sworn it was crowded just a minute ago. You better hurry out of here. My reason's not looking good, huh? See, this is why I'm playing on easy for the first run. <laughs> you read a story about a vengeful samurai known for wearing a crimson red cape. It's an interesting find for sure, but you need to find more information. Spooky Kendo. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Our ancient demo lore, back when there were only three characters, they also had Kendo helmet overlays. It's no longer in game. Oh no, that's so sad. Oh, it's something like when I was looking through the status effects and how many cool ones there are, I was just like, I want to just make all of these. Like, it feels like a shame that they're not added to the modding system. Like, uh, I don't know, like, how difficult would it be to include more status things for modded characters? I guess it's not the priority. But I, I ended up, like, just making so many, because I was like, this is a cool thought, I just want to keep making them. Maybe I can find my my file out and show a couple. <laughs> a couple of the ones that didn't make it into the mod, because they're not supported. Anyway, let's go back to school, we need more information. Oop, 
I don't have Ikumi with me. Impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. <laughs> I'm staring in disbelief. I think I'm losing reason again. Yep, how is this possible? I have too much knowledge. I can't make sense of the... The, the non-scientific. Uh-oh. One of the articles mentions a young doctor who performed life-saving life surgery on a victim of a brutal assault. The assault happened in a toilet store. Maybe he still works at the hospital and can share some information. Let's just check it out. I don't have any better leads. The psych ward. Someone has been branding the patients with occult symbols. <laughs> Branded like cattle. Are they preparing a feast for their eldritch masters? Um, this is. I'm. I'm glad I am playing on easy. We're already on 14% <laughs> in the first mystery. You learn that the doctor suddenly left the hospital after the latest murder, taking all of the records with him. Why would he do that? And that's not the only bad news. Your friend didn't come to school today, and another body has supposedly been found. Oh well. Like, if you're gonna go ahead and do it anyway after all of my warnings, that's kind of on you. I could not do any more though. <laughs> also, Gambler, hello! Welcome, welcome! Oh, thank you for the hydrate! I will have a sip of my peach monster. And welcome in! Welcome to World of Horror featuring Liri character mod. <laughs> Happy Tuesday! I hope you're doing well. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Just here, like, yes, I have 10 knowledge. I'm going to ace all the tests. And then the game's just like, hey, um, how about we don't give you anything that requires knowledge? Here you go. All right, let's go check out school again. This isn't going great. You catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing painting draws your attention. I don't know anything about art. I don't know anything about art. What is that? I'm... Okay, that one made me lose stamina. That's fine. That's fine. You gasp in pure horror. The twisted faces, impossible angles, and enormous monoliths make you sick. Ooh. Not nice. Uh, the principal has ordered the school to be closed down for the investigation. That's probably a smart idea. When multiple people have died, yes. So let's go downtown. There is a gruesome altar. Seeing the two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I, I'm so tempted to just pick do nothing here. No, let, let's have a look at the occult notes. Like, I'm, I'm just in it at this point. Like, why not? Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow. I have 10 knowledge? And rolled 11, so I failed the knowledge check. What is the chance of that? That is ridiculous. That, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Well, I might be dying. This is fine. This is the test run. It's okay. <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Like, the chance of that happening is astronomically low. That is the the worst luck. That's like me just rolling a natural one. <laughs> you break the window and get inside the school unnoticed. The cursed toilet is located on the third floor. Get over there. I'm breaking in. I'm breaking in. And also, oh, wait, no. This is actually pretty good because this means I can show off one of the things I made. When my reason starts getting low in the game, when it gets to, like, like dangerous levels, my expression changes, and I'm just like, mm. not having a good time. <laughs> and also, like, when my stamina gets too low as well, my face gets just completely destroyed. <laughs> right, let's break into the school. I don't see how this could possibly go wrong. Right, this is, this is fine. This is great. As you enter the school gym, you notice a strange black doll propped up against the wall. I... The only thing I can do is come closer because I don't have the anatomy class perk. Great, well... At this point, I'm just... What? What is that? Hi. I 
against your better judgment, you approach the doll. What you see makes you gasp in horror. The doll isn't a doll. Your sudden movement causes tiny black spiders to flee, revealing a white half-eaten corpse. It's great! It's great! That's exactly what I wanted to see right now. Here we go. There's no turning back now. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually drink my energy drink. I'm gonna drink that. Every little helps. There's no turning back now. You step into the last stall and close the door behind you. Here we go. You wait in the stall, trying to be as quiet as possible. Suddenly, squish, squish. You hear the sound of rubber boots as an unknown liquid drips on the tiles. Squish, squish. You can see the top of his head. He's taller than any man you've ever seen. Squish, squish. The door slowly opens. Hi. Hello. You look fine. I'm sure you're a very normal guy. A masked man dressed in a red coat, clearly too tall for the ceiling, emerges from outside. Tell me. His voice sounds like a faulty radio. Would you like red paper or blue paper? Um, I'd rather not have paper, thank you very much. It's getting darker. The tall man in the red coat slowly takes their mask off as stall walls wither and rot and reality starts to crumble. Hi. This might have been a bad idea with seven reasons. But you know what? It's okay. All I gotta do is win. Right, so kicking does three damage. Attacking with my torch does five damage. Or seven damage. It's Of course it's perception based, and my perception is terrible. <sighs> right, they have really low chances to hit too, which is also great. I actually think my best bet is just like three kicks. Although I guess if I do that, I can do a guaranteed seven damage, I guess. If I just prepare my attack and then do the strong attack, that's a guaranteed seven. That would take like five turns to kill him. I would still die. Oh, order my allies to attack. That seems pretty good. Oh no, that's, that's so low. I need 105 for that. It does around four damage. Okay, is there anything else I can do with you? I can't just send them out against the enemy, I guess. Like, what if, what if I just send Taru out? Just be like, hey, you're up now. <laughs> it's your turn. Hmm. Right, for anyone who doesn't know how the combat works in this game, basically, you have a bar for 200. You have like 200, I guess, like action points. And every action you do needs a certain amount. Like this needs 55, I guess time. You have 200 time. For example, this attack needs 55 time and it'll do three damage and has a base chance to hit of 80%. So I'd be able to do three of those and then I would be on like 165. So then I could only do something that costed 35 time or less after that. There are other little things like over here, there's like prepare your attack that costs 40 time, but it means the next attack will guaranteed hit. Which is very good sometimes. Like for something like this, when the base chance to hit is like a 50-50, if you do the prepare and then hit and you know it's a guaranteed hit, that's pretty good. But yeah, these are like the physical attacks. Uh, there's also just increase it by 10%, which which is good for things like the kick, where it's like 80%. You could just use that twice. It's only 20 time, and it's a guaranteed hit. But uh, there are also support actions where you can like get an improvised weapon, assess the situation, learn about your enemy. Ooh. No, I, I, don't, I don't really need that. Ask your ally to distract the enemy. If successful, faster combat action for the duration of this encounter. That could be good. If failed, lose a random ally. Well, I, I can get more. <laughs> and then um, 
when when your stamina or reason is lower than three, there's like the panic button as well, which I'm probably gonna get to with my reason at seven right now. I shouldn't have jumped into this straight away, probably. But mistakes have been made. And then over here, these are spiritual actions, which are specifically against like ghosts and spirits, which don't have like a physical form you can hit. And then there are defensive actions, such as dodge and brace for impact and meditate and also just run away, but you can't do that on a boss. Anyway, this isn't looking good. <laughs> but it's okay. It's time for my secret weapon, gaggle of teenagers, go. I think I just need to not, not try so hard. I don't, I don't think this run is gonna go well. I've just been like playing around trying to do things. So I, I, I'm not like aiming to win right now, but I, I'd still like to. I might, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Let's ask my ally to distract the enemy. I can make that a guarantee as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assess the situation. And then this is a base chance of 70. Wait, oh, I could do the camera flash. I can do both. I can assess the situation, camera flash, ally distract. Let's do that. I'm starting like this. Here we go. Go. Boom. Okay, um, weak against magic. You can't run from this encounter. The ageless horror awakening once again to sate its hunger. So um, I don't have magic. And like, I, I guess I could have gotten more spells and stuff, but, um, oopsie. Maybe I should have kept that, that other one that did like the six damage. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept it. It's okay. It's okay. Student A tried to distract Akamanto, but died. Oops. Well, at least I got an achievement for it. <laughs> I dodged the attack as well anyway. That's so nice. That's very nice. Um, I think I just need to start hitting... Unless I send out my other ally. <laughs> I don't know if I do this, if this will stack on the support action. Because it just says, like, I don't think this is an attack. I don't think that would work. You know what? I'm going to try it again. try it again um sorry if the other one also perishes um hmm right i need to start doing some damage right i've got 120 126 ah it's 83 I can make it a 90% chance to hit. Let's do that. Yeah. And it's still missed with 93%? The, the, see, this the game game just doesn't want me to win this. <laughs> I lost a knowledge roll with 10 knowledge. I missed with a 93%. This is not going great. Akamanto stabs you. Where are you? Um, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, but student C managed to distract him. Yes. Okay, he's distracted, so my actions are faster now. That's good. That's very good. I could get four kicks off if I wanted. But they're 80% chance to hit, so they're gonna miss. Although that one? A guaranteed hit for seven doesn't seem too bad. No, I think I have to start risking it with the lower chances, because otherwise I'm not going to do enough damage to win. I'm going for the kicks. Four kicks. I'm 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 gonna risk it. Kick, kick, kick. Okay, three of them hit. That's okay. I'm not doing great. <laughs> Akamanto stabs you. Something doesn't feel right, you don't say. You don't say. I love how the ally attack is just like two damage. <sighs> oh, 
Oh, if only I had a gun, that would be good in a situation like this. See, th this is the problem with having a perception-based torch when my perception is very low. Hmm. I'm doing the kicks again. Kick, 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 kick. Basking in the dying sun's morbid glow, your corpse continues to twist and warp, bringing you closer to your primordial perfect form. Soon, the herald will take you to the shattered court, where you will perform and sing mad songs until the end of time itself. That went well. <laughs> I got lost in the other world. Great. Yep, Akamanto stepped closer, lifted me up. In his face, I saw all my worst fears. And I died. Anyway, that's the demonstration. <laughs> There's the demonstration of my, my character mod. I hope you liked it. And I got two achievements. Yes, that is that is also very good. I do, I do like getting achievements. I don't know which ones I got, but I got some of them. <laughs> Anyway, let's try that again. I do customize again. I think I, you have to do like customize playthrough in order to uh, choose a custom character because like the quick play and stuff just picks one of the default ones. This time I'm doing the... <laughs> this time I'm doing the right seed. Let's see what this is. Let's see if this will be kinder to me. The monster one was not kind to me. Let's see if the Lurie seed will be nicer. <laughs> anyway, let's try that again. Oh, I should I should turn this off in the settings, the the intro sequence. We already saw that, so right. Who's ready for the first try? Let's let's do it. First first attempt. <laughs> let's see how this goes. Here we go. Right. What if I pick a different old god? Like, here, this is the spider god. Um, you can't run from combat. Oh, maybe not that one. That's the one I just did. Uh, damage and enemies is increased. Though, that maybe didn't turn out in my favor. Uh, the towering eye. Casting spells co costing reason would increase doom instead. So that's... That one's very, like, if you cast too many spells, you get closer to the end faster. And here, the, the thing forsaken by God. Um, resting increases doom penalty. I mean, what if we do this and just don't rest? Let's try this without resting. Banished to the other dimension a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through reflective, gla <laughs> reflective glass. The glimpses behind your reflections are just the beginning of a real nightmare. Right, so resting at home raises doom. And there we go! Starting the game. <laughs> oh, gotta get groceries! Oh, thank you for stopping in! I hope you've enjoyed your time here. I hope you get delicious groceries. Right, let's just go home. I wonder if I've unlocked any more areas. Oh, illegal den? I don't remember seeing that before. That's that's new, I think. Because uh, as you get achievements and unlock things in the game, you can unlock different areas. And you can have like two different things per area and you can swap it between runs and decide what you want to include. So uh, yeah, I, don't, I haven't seen this illegal den before. Let's have that. There we go. Uh, confirm and continue. Check the mailbox, it's empty. And I'm home. Boop. There are my library notes. <laughs> oh, it's a nice day outside. Look at that. Right, I've got my energy drink. I've got my torch. I've got my library notes. You know what? Let's... Oh, I just realized I did this on like normal difficulty. That's fine. Let's get a spell. Receive one free injury removal for 4% doom. That's good. I will take that. 
it would cost more than four Doom to wait around at the hospital <laughs> to get an injury removed. <laughs> so I'll take that. That's a good one to have on me. I don't want to be injured. Right, and now I can actually look around the apartment too. All right, so let's get my little money from here. Should I go Magical Girl this time? Let's have the Magical Girl outfit on. Maybe that's what the problem was. I'm I'm not in my, my proper form for solving mysteries. <laughs> Have a look through the peephole. Yeah, there's nobody outside. Everything looks fine there. Uh, modded characters can't save progress. You don't belong here. I, I do belong, I promise. Here's my storage. There's nothing in there. Uh, custom mysteries, town screen. And there's also a TV. I can watch TV if I want to. Some of our readers report a, t a, a strange tall man dressed in white taking the metro after dark, apparently stalking lone passengers. Please take care and avoid traveling alone. Cool. What's the emergency number in Japan? Is it 112? No, wait, is it? Hold on. Emergency number Japan. 119. Oh, 112 is like the non-emergency line in the UK. That's that's where I got it mixed up. 119. No, okay. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> and there's also the bath. You can take a bath. You can take a cold water bath to regain reason. You can get an XP boost with warm water and you can regain stamina with hot water. Or if you have an empty bottle, you can um, just bottle up some water for later. Oh, I can't back out of this. Okay, well, I guess we're starting with a doom increase. Let's get XP. Oh, no, okay. I thought this god was the, yeah, resting increase. Oh, I guess I'm, I'm not resting, I'm taking a bath. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I can still take baths. That's good to know. But yeah, uh, 112 is basically like the... It's like the medical line in the UK. Like, if it's not bad enough to call the emergency services, but it's still pretty bad, then you call 112 instead. Yes, also Alinte, hello! I got isekai into World of Horror. I've, I've already died once. <laughs> it's going well. It's going well. I had 10 knowledge and then I rolled an 11 and still failed the check. It's going incredibly well so far. But welcome to the, the Liri mod for World of Horror. I'm, I'm really happy with this. I'm so happy. Right, let's see what mysteries we got. Ba -ba -ba -ba. This, is, this is regular difficulty, so there's a, all five of them now. We have the rotten report of a rancid ramen. We have the bizarre bruit of the blood-curdling botanist. We have sorrowful saga of the moonlight sailors. Far out fable of a fear festival. Oh, that could be fun. And curious case of a contagious coma. And I also have some custom mysteries too, if I want to do any, which could be fun. But I think I'm going to stick with the with these mysteries for now. <laughs> game of that what spot. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, next time for sure. Oh, meetings. I hope the meetings go well. Thank you for popping in even though you are at work. Oh, in Poland, 112's uh, generic emergency call center number if you don't know who exactly to call. Oh, I, I guess it's like a similar system then. Because it's like um, the emergency line in the UK is like you call 999, which is like... In America, it's 911. That's the emergency line, and that would be like if you need paramedics for an emergency. But then, if it's still bad, but you don't feel like it's emergency status, you can call 112, and it's like the um, medical help hotline. <laughs> right. Uh, let's start with the the rancid ramen because I don't I don't think this one is as bad <laughs> in regards to like fighting enemies. So, let's do this. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It's adored by everyone. 
Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves with dish after dish, while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You are determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? The flesh of the gods themselves? Let's find out. I sure was a finger in that ramen too. Oh, thank you for the door knock. Come on in. Come on in. Um, there isn't a queue for my bedroom because uh, there's nobody in the house except me and my family. So come on in. Watching the local news, you spot a familiar street. It's a feature about the newest ramen shop. The food critic huh? has a manic look as he describes the ramen. His description makes your stomach churn. <laughs> it's made of humans. <laughs> Soil and green ramen, lovely. But I, I don't think just like making ramen with human meat, I don't think that would have like the, the wide-eyed fervor. I don't think that would be enough to make people keep going back like like they're possessed there's something else going on here oh hey dumpster dive discard two item cards to complete this quest maybe i will maybe i will but not yet let's let's go shopping see if the dog's got anything good there's a flashlight oh plus one perception oh that could be good that could be really good. The cigarettes, I'm not doing that. Um, I could get another energy drink. Backpack allows two additional inventory slots. That is a really nice one to have. Or a steak knife. That's dexterity, maybe not. I'm tempted by the backpack because having item slots is very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm having a backpack. Let me go shopping again. I don't care about the doom. I want stuff. Dog treats! When in inventory, all items in the shop are cheaper by one. Oh, you're so good. Look at this. The best shopkeeper. Love you. What else? Sewing kit. Um, maybe not. I could just go, like, random item for two funds. Oh, you know what? Let's get dog treats. Get more items. See, I'm doing all of this, like, in the first run. The doom's gonna get pretty high, but I, I believe... I believe it will be okay still. Like, the Doom didn't even get high last time before I just perished, so. <laughs> I gotta prepare, I think. A little bit. <gasps> Salt, ooh. You know what? Let's get a random discounted item. Item gacha. I got a bottle of milk. Just gives me one stamina. And then I guess I'll have an empty bottle, too. Right, I don't have anything I want to throw away, though, is the problem. I, th there's nothing I want to throw out here. You know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to get another random spell because I don't learn from my mistakes. Oh, that was, that was where everything went wrong last time because this costs for a reason. I'm not going to use that. I'm not actually going to use that this time. If, I, if I'm if i going to lose the knowledge rolls anyway, I'm not going to bother with that. Anyway, yeah, energy drink and milk. Um, I, I, I need Pepsi to go with this milk. I don't. I, it's so funny because whenever anyone talks about milk, I don't actually like Pepsi. I don't actually like drinking milk. Like, I don't like them either way. Having them together sounds like the worst nightmare imaginable to me. It's, it, yeah, monster milk. It, it, milk. I, I, I guess it'd be like mi Milnster? Milnster, lovely. Energy drill. <laughs> Let's have an energy drill. Anyway, I'm tempted to just drink this immediately because. Oh, I, I could just like throw it out. Because. <laughs> Or I could just, like, not solve this mystery fully because I've already done it before. What if I just ignore this? What if I just, like, rush through this as quickly as I can and be like, I, uh, they're gone, goodbye, I missed my chance. <laughs> Malk! 
monster, monster milk, monk. Oh, that's that's a weird word. Mulk. I don't think I like that. <laughs> no, I'm gonna drink my energy drink. And then I, oh, do I equip my torch? I kinda wanna go shopping again. Let's go shopping again. I've still got one money. Get one thing. You know what? I'm gonna do this one. Plus two experience for each investigated location. That's gonna add up. Getting it in the first, the first mystery. That's gonna add up. I think that will actually be good. I think that could be great. Also, Gigi, hello, welcome. Welcome to World of Horror. I'm on my first run. I definitely haven't already died horribly in the first mission. Uh, welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Right, let's um, let's go check out this ramen place. Let's investigate the apartments. Boop. Also, thank you for the hydrate. Hello, Lumsev. Welcome, Mjolk. <laughs> Welcome on in. Thank you. Let me have a sip of my peach time. I'm just calling it peach time now. <laughs> let's have a sip of peach time. Good welcome, welcome, welcome to World of Horror featuring me. I'm in the game. It's not been going well so far, but it's okay. While looking around the ransacked room of your recently deceased friend, you discover a half-finished painting of a woman, her skin a ghastly pale yellow color. The scene is disturbing. You struggle to look at it. Do I lose reason? <gasps> no, I'm, I'm... Oh my goodness, just. Only just. I passed the charisma check. I have seven, I rolled seven. <gasps> oh, that was close. Unintimidated by the painting, it gives you new insight into the madness that possessed your friend. God experience, ah, I'm not used to rolls going well. Not after that uh, 11 one, I'm, st I'm still, I'm never gonna get over that 11 knowledge check when I had 10. So painful. You can see the restaurant through the staircase's window. You watch the door for hours, but never see any of the cooks enter nor leave. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, it's mail day! When you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. Should I read them or should I check them later? I feel like if I read them, I'm gonna read something I don't want to, but I don't want to just put it off. So let's check them out. Whoop! <laughs> Great! Love it! I've attracted the attention of something truly evil. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's okay. Look, I've, I've got a torch, some dog treats, and a bottle of milk. I, I think I'm gonna be okay. The only true way to investigate is to get into the restaurant yourself. Oh, it's time to queue up. Oop, that's on it. Oop, oh, hoo, hoo. Hoo, hoo, hello. Hi. Okay, you know I exist, but now you can stop looking at me. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm sure I'm fine. I'm gonna equip my torch, actually. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go. Yeah, I, I should just stop tempting fate every single time. I'm just like... <laughs> every time I um, I say, oh, this could go well, and then something horrifically wrong happens. It's <laughs> it's my own fault. I should stop saying it. Mask festival. As you glance around, you notice that more and more people are wearing strange masks unlike anything you've ever seen before. As you turn to your friends for reassurance, you notice that some also wear these eerie masks. Their voices sound muffled and distorted, and you can't shake off the feeling that they're not quite themselves. The hairs on the back of your neck stand on end, and you realize something is terribly wrong. They are preparing for something. I lost my no money. Wow, what a disaster. 
sense of dread creeps over you as the masked people are swarming through the store, filling their carts with food and survival equipment. You notice the goods' prices have already skyrocketed. You realize that you need to act fast if you want to have any chance of survival. It's okay, I'm stocked up on monster. Ooh -hoo -hoo. It seems that you are not the only one wanting to try it for yourself. You stand in line for hours. Your questions fall on deaf ears and you're shunned. This is probably my last chance if I want to like throw things out. I, I, I'm not going to bother. Wait, no, I, I've apparently already discarded something. Wait, if I drink my milk, does that count as like discarding it? Nope. Uh, let's let's discard the empty bottle. Let's get rid of that, and I can do it properly. There we go. You sneak into the alley in the dead of night. Gagging, you look through the restaurant's garbage. It's all vile pulp, though a few chunks of meat look like promising samples. Okay. I got a sample of smelly meat. Oh, rancid meat of an unknown source. Smells horrible. Oh, I can't eat it. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's line up. Making my way downtown. Walking slow. Out of funds. Oh, here we go. It's about time to be out of cash, says the grim-looking man who's standing in your way. Ah, uh, company, fortunately. Specializes in cases like yours and will gladly help you get back on track. After all... He takes a step closer and you could swear there is a faint smell of rust around the man. Everyone has something to sell. Um... You can have some of my blood. I'm fine. You startle awake on a park bench. Did you faint? There's no sign of the grim man anywhere, but you find an envelope full of cash inside uh, inside in your pocket. Uh, full of cash inside in your pocket. All right, so I lost three stamina, but I got money. So I'll take that. Thank you very much. It's a price I'm willing to pay. So, I mean, I do still have this too. It's like 4% doom, but... Oh, no, that's injury. Oh, that's the knowledge one. I don't want that. Maybe I just... Get my reason back. I'll, I'll hold on to it for now. Anyway, look at my inventory. I've got library notes, dog treats, and some smelly meat. The smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease, rot, and... Is that blood? No, never mind. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery, and shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. Oh, I'll say hi to them. They might be okay. They might be just having a nice time. Let's say hi. Hello. Yeah, charisma check. I'm, I'm actually passing the checks now. Thank goodness. You whirl around and see who's behind you. Luckily, the other person is a kind old lady who points you to the tombstone you were looking for. Under a stone, you find a note someone left for you. Come back, experience. That went well. It's finally your turn to order. One ramen, please. The owner's grin widens. I'm sure this is fine. Also, yay, I'm in your character folder now. Oh, I hope you have fun. I hope it works out well. Thank you! I'm so excited that I've actually, like, fully made the mod and I can properly release it. I'm gonna be, like, posting it in places after the stream. Like, this is kind of like the test run. <laughs> this stream is the test run of the mod to see if there's anything that has gone horribly wrong that I need to fix, but I think it's good. I think, like, I'm just learning that I'm just terrible in combat. I'm just gonna be so bad at combat, but it's okay. I can deal with that. Also, thank you for the hydrate! Peach time. I have been peached. Thank you. All right, ramen time. Oop, moving company. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away to another city. He left suddenly without even saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wanted to sell it. In the envelope, you find a key to his apartment. You know what? Let's use my torch and have a look around 
Oh! You shine your light source in the dark closet and something glitters at you. You grab it as the moving company enters the house. I think we know why he suddenly moved. Whoa! Hey, it's an equipment thing! An illicit occult human skull that twitches slightly. <laughs> it gives a random result after casting a spell. What the heck? What is this? Oh, that sounds like it could be so chaotic. That sounds like it could be really funny. Oh, I also love, like, if you try to sell the human skull, it's just like, you wouldn't know where to find a buyer for it. <laughs> it's constantly trying to speak. Oh, I don't like that. Um, you can go in my storage. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, that went, that went okay. At, at least the moving company didn't find the skull. The red bowl is pushed in your face. It's so crowded that you're forced to sit on the floor. Well, I sit on the floor anyway. That's that's a normal thing for me. Time to continue. The silent street again. There's nobody on the street. I better hurry out of here. Oof. Oh, here we go. With a slick hand, you fill a vial with the soup and walk out, all without tasting the weird dish. Okay, so I've got a sample of the soup, I've got a sample of the meat. Let's investigate. Ooh. Let's investigate. With the pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into a lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send to the laboratory? Well, we're sending all of it. We're sending... It's, it's not the ramen without all of the components. You look at the charts and cannot believe your eyes. While the standard test didn't detect anything weird, adding drops of human blood revealed something horrible. Whatever this thing is made of, it's alive, beating a soft pulse against the glass. Your friend leaves you with the papers, muttering an excuse and preparing to flee town on the next train. Honestly, me too, buddy. It's a smart idea. Prepared for a fight, you march down to the restaurant. However, you find no eldritch horror to duel. Instead, you're shocked to find nothing but a gap in the street. You ignore the distraught customers still lining up where they remember the entrance. Investigating the grounds, you see something glisten where the kitchen used to be. Cautiously, you look at the chunk of meat and then jump back with a yell. As it flexes, it opens a weary eye, grins, and wanders off on stubby black claws. You walk home shaken. In your head, you hear the weird ramen breathing in its bowl. You only stop to throw up on the street. Rotten report of rancid ramen ending <laughs> A. I solved a mystery. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> I did it. Also, Akiri, hello, welcome. Thank you for the head pat. Welcome. Welcome to the, the Liri character mod for World of Horror. And here are the rewards. Um, 30 experience. Uh, thorough investigation, got 15 experience. Uh, the doom is going down because there's still hope figuring things out. Tireless, I got plus one reason and stamina. I guess that's because I didn't rest. And then a day passes. Why does anime food look so good? Um. Um. Yeah, it, it looks great. <laughs> But no, I know what you mean, though. Like, the, the, whenever you see, like, food in an anime, it, it always looks so nice. It always looks so amazing. But, uh, welcome, welcome! The old god stirs. Arcane storm. Local scientists are baffled. An unprecedented aurora-like event has bathed the entire town in an unnatural green glow. Hmm. Okay, the reason cost of all spells is increased by one. Great. I'm, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's okay. I'm sure things are fine. <laughs> Can't quite put your finger on it. In it. On it. <laughs> Not good with horror, so you'll lurk. That is completely fine. That is 100% fine. Thank you so much for the lurk, though. I do appreciate it. 
yeah, horror is definitely not everyone's cup of tea. It's it's why I try to like limit horror stuff to October. Like it makes it more fun when it's a, a seasonal event, but it also means like if people aren't into horror, you can you can avoid it a bit easier. <laughs> anyway, let's head home. Inside your mailbox, you find a small key. What is it doing in there? Well, I will take that. Thank you very much. All right, back at home. Think of my next move. Yep, I can't see anything. Nothing in the drawers. Right, I should have a bath, maybe. Shall I have an experience bath? Yeah, let's, let's get more experience. I'm When you hit 100 experience, you level up. I'm so close. I'm so close to leveling up. And I have my compass, so if I explore a few more areas, I will level up. So I would like that. Right, anyway, let's have a look through the peephole. Someone is standing in the shadow watching your door. Can you not, buddy? Thanks. Please don't. Um, what's on TV? The TV host is gutting a big octopus. At least that's what she claims, but there are way too many tentacles. Ooh. Um, no, I think it's fine. It's Everything is fine. Everything is lovely and fine. Let's let's solve a mystery. Right, so we've we've solved the ramen mystery. So there is the the botanist. There's the sailors. There's the festival, and there's the coma. Curious case of a contagious coma. I've I've only gotten one ending for this one. Maybe I can get the the other ending. Let's try it. Curious case of a contagious coma. More and more people fall unconscious and can't, cannot be awakened. People who try to wake the patients up only end up falling into a coma themselves. A whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated to warding the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people? And how did this strange illness start? Let's check it out. I think what I have to do here is I need to like not solve it properly. I think ending A is because I, I fully solved the mystery last time. We're just gonna, like, rush through and not try hard this time. Let's check the news reports about this weird disease and try to find the cause before more people fall asleep. Oh, actually, should I go to the schoolyard? See if I can get me some followers. Who are you? You look cool. Join me? Nope, okay. Will you join me? Oh, you will! I've got student D! I got Michi! Increases knowledge. Let's go. Thank you, Michi. Are you sure you don't want to join me? Sorry, you don't have time for games. Okay. Uh, how about this guy? This, this guy looks dependable. Yeah, this guy will join me. Okay, um, reduce my strength. Thanks, Kaede. That's great. Hi. He's just smiling at me. Okay, that's... I'm sure it's fine. Oh, access rooftop? Let's, let's go to the rooftop. Hello? I can set up a telescope. I can talk with student. Hello? Oh, the girl whispers, bow, clap. Student is mumbling something to herself. You should probably leave her alone. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm just quickly uh, write that down. Bow, clap. I've lost my pens. Oops. <laughs> Never mind. I'll just remember it. Bow, clap. Bow, clap. Oh, I forgot how eerie the music in this game is. It's great. I. L the music is so atmospheric. It works so well for all the situations. I also love when it's like the same song, but then it kind of like slows down and gets a bit warped and it's like, oh boy, oh boy, things are happening. All right, I should probably leave her alone. I don't think I want to set up a telescope. Let's go, let's get out of here. Oh, there's a different guy here now. Should I, do you want to join me? Yeah, he'll join me. Nice. I got three friends now. He reduced my luck. Wow. 
Wow, these men. At least you won't let me down, Michi. <laughs> At least I've got you, Michi. All right, let's get out of here. Um, let's go to school. Look, I've got like a little entourage. <laughs> the Venetian Society. That pair has been following you since morning. You finally managed to lose them, but can't shake the feeling that it will only get worse. Oh, my stamina's being reduced. Reports mention a patient zero. Who could they be? I have no idea. Uh, let's check downtown. <laughs> Making my way downtown. Agents of Goizo! Uh-oh, you try to avoid mirrors, afraid of what could be waiting for you on the other side. I'm fine. You need to sneak into the hospital and borrow the information about Patient Zero. Right, let's go. I'm not paranoid, okay. Uh, when the patient came home one morning covered in scars and babbling about aliens, the police had them committed. They're mumbling something quietly as you pass by. What what you saying? I passed the charisma check. Nice. You immediately understand that the only difference between you and that the crazy person is that you haven't been caught yet. <laughs> you convince them to sneak out and join you in your quest. Hi! I love that just um I just walk into the hospital, see someone babbling about aliens, and I'm just like, right, you're joining me. Come on. <laughs> Come on. We, we got some aliens to defeat. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Hi, Ryoko. Wait, Ryoko the park ranger does plus one to weapons damage. That's so good. That's great. Oh, that's wonderful. Ryoko looks around. Did you hear that? Never mind. Oh, that's that worked out so nicely. Look, look, at, look at my team. I've got such a great team. I love this. Also, hi! Love this game, me too! I've played this every October for the past however many years I've been streaming. But I've, um, I'm playing as me. I'm currently playing as me. I made a character mod for the game. So, um, I'm, I'm canon canonically part of this universe now. And, um, I'm doing okay. I, I could be doing better. But I'm doing alright at the moment. And I like having my little team of students and also this park ranger. I think I, I don't want to say anything because if I say I think things are going well, I'm just going to like perish at the next encounter, but I can level up. Okay, so what are the perks? There is art knowledge, which increases perception, which would be really good for my torch and gives me knowledge on art. The self therapy, uh, forgetting spells regains extra reason. <gasps> I could use that to just endlessly re-roll spells with my library notes. That could be really good. And quick thinking, um, dexterity, there's always a way out from seemingly hopeless situations. Oh, I like all of these. I love the idea of the self-therapy and, <laughs> and just like rolling for good spells. I could just do it because it's like one to two reason to get a spell. And then I'll regain, like, two reason if I don't want the spell. Oh. Oh. It's that or art knowledge, because the perception would be nice for my torch to actually do damage. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Forgetting spells regains extra reason. And then I'm just going to put a point into perception. <laughs> Self-therapy and perception. Thank you very much. Oh, making dinner and going to work. Oh, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for the luck. I hope your dinner is delicious and I hope your work isn't too terrible. You've got their name and address. Let's get out of here. I have my self-therapy upgrade now. That's very nice. Let's get some spells. Let's go. Gain a random spell, lose one to two reason. I lost two reason for that, but I got- Oh! <sighs> ah! Of course I did. 
Of course I did. Anyway, I'm just, I'm, I'm forgetting this one. I'm forgetting that one. My self-therapy allows me to forget all about that. I'm not losing for a reason. I'm not using that. Let's get some more spells. It's spell time. Enthrallment? Gain an, an additional follower. Discard on use. Cost for reason. I've got so many followers. I don't need that. Give me the reason back. There we go. Uh, let's re-roll. I've, I've, I found it. I found the spell gacha. All right, I've learned memory extract. Oh, costs 10 experience, but gives two reason. That could be good. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to keep that one. Oh, the free injury removal is good too. Maybe I... Maybe I stick with these. No, I'm going to do one more. One more. One more. I can stop at any time. Void. <laughs> Whoa! Ignore the current event and instantly investigate a random other world location. No. No. Not doing that. One more. Oh, okay, that's the end of my notes. There we go. I've, I've got all of my notes done now. But that worked out really well. I like having these. This can be really useful. This could be really useful. This is really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with these spells. This is good. This is good. Right, let's uh let's go to the hospital. I've got so many people with me, it's great. Your reflection twists and shimmers when you're not looking at it directly. Goizo is getting closer. Oh, I've been branded. Ooh. Oh, that's not so great. Chance of raising doom with each investigation. Ugh. That's not the best. That's okay. All right downtown. Oh, let's 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 go say hi to the dog. Actually, I've got I've got a little bit of money. Got a little bit of money. See if I can buy something good. Let's have the torch, backpack, and compass at the moment. It's always worth having an energy drink. D speaking of, <laughs> thank you for the hydrate redeem. Thank you for the head fat too. I will have a sip each time. And the posture check. Let me have a big stretch. Ugh, sit up straight. Oh, my blanket fell off my shoulders. <laughs> okay. Okay, I am I am repostured. I'm sitting up straight. <laughs> shall I get an energy drink or shall I go for a random item? Because I got the milk last time and that wasn't too bad. You know what? This is this is gamba time. I got an empty bottle. Okay. Okay. That's okay. It's alright. Patient Zero's house seems empty. You should search it carefully. See, I could get more information if I check out the village. But I'm not going to do that. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the, in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mommy. Luckily, you spot the girl's address on a backpack lying nearby. Uh, well... I'm gonna take her home. I think it's fine. I don't want to call the police. So, uh... Especially after I just, like, broke someone out of the hospital. <laughs> so I think I take her home. Also, Grey Snow, hello! Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Lyrie World of Horror. I'm in the game. It's me. <laughs> I'll take her home. Whoa. You offer to take her home. When you get there, the terrified mother slams the door in your face. From behind the door, she starts screaming to get the girl away. The little girl calmly tells you that she can take it from here. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna leave now. <laughs> not my problem anymore whoa that man dabbled in magic you found a journal describing a certain village and instructions for a summoning ritual it seems that he tried to contact an entity from the dream realms uh -huh. and i guess he managed to contact it well i'm not going to the village <laughs> you can hear a faint sobbing sound coming from an alley nearby there you approach a man on his knees 
When you take a step closer, he suddenly stops and perks up. You can hear the nauseating sound of tearing skin. Oh my, wow, how oh, hi. Hi, hi, oh, that's, mm, mm. Okay, 21 health. Attacks both of my stats directly, but, but I have one damage increase because of, um, because of Ryoko. Hmm. Right, it's a base chance to hit of 82 as well. Well, it's like, I can do a guaranteed 7 damage. Yeah, that's a, that's a guaranteed 7 if I use the prepare. Or an 82% chance otherwise. Honestly, the 82% isn't that bad. Hmm. I could do that twice. Oh, it's... Because it's 122, if this was just two less, I'd be able to do both of them. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do two of these. Oh, wait, no, I can make these guaranteed hit. I can do a guaranteed 10 damage. I'll do that. Uh, chance to hit, chance to hit, boom. Chance to hit, chance to hit, boom. That's a guaranteed 10 damage. So I'll only take like two damage for each thing, and I should be able to win. Ba -ba -ba -bum. I burned. Oh, I burned it because. Oh, <laughs> because I have the torch. Wait, the corpse got burned. The enemy seems to be weak against this type of weapon. Oh, the oh that worked out well. Nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. Th this is enough damage to win. Boom boom. Fire. The power of fire. It's not arson because he's not property. He's not a building. Before anyone says anything. <laughs> oh, that worked out really well. Yeah, he just kind of smacked me once and then I'm just like, um, get burned. Take that. I defeated the glued corpse. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, simulation. No, it's okay. Um, I just hit him. The fire was not my fault. I just hit him with a stick. The fact that there was fire there, that was like not my fault. <laughs> no, that that one's that one's tenuous even for me. <laughs> the quarantine wing is guarded closely. You must find a way to sneak through. I must sneak. Or do I go to the shop? Should I check out the shop and just get one more random item? <laughs> I, I kind of want to. <gasps> boop the snoot! Gotta boop the snoot! What a good boy. What a great boy. Anyway, energy drink, map, salt. Salt! Oh, salt could be really good. Because the salt is, um, A, damage to ghost enemies. The ghost ones, like, I can't hit. Having salt in a situation like this feels like it would be quite good. I'm getting it. I got salt. I've got so much salt after that first run where I had 10 knowledge and rolled an 11 on the knowledge check. <laughs> this is all the salt I gathered from that single skill check. <laughs> right, let's find a way through. Investigate the hospital. I love seeing this with my little gang behind me. It just happened, spontaneous combustion. Exactly, thank you for understanding. Thank you for understanding. That's exactly... <laughs> it wasn't me. Oh, this stick's on fire now. It wasn't before. Trust me. Um, sources, trust me, bro. <laughs> you are stopped by two nurses. Ready to apologize and explain yourself, you notice their weird smiles. Dead stares. Sharp knives. Whoa, hi! There's the anomaly attendant and the corpse caregiver. Oh my goodness, okay. Three stamina damage, three reason damage. Oh. Oh, okay. Right, do I have to attack this one first? I see a little arrow. I Oh no, I can swap here, okay. Okay, I kind of want to take this nurse out first because of the, um, 
lower health. And also, like, I can get hit a few times, it's fine. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Right, because uh, these are people too, they should burn, right? <laughs> <I> mean... <laughs> the second I said that, I was like, I shouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not helping the allegations at all. Um, right, what does this spell cost? That's eight damage. Uh, plus two doom, one reason, one stamina. It's, it's quite pricey, but it does a lot of damage. Oh, I guess I've got the memory extract too, so maybe I focus on the stamina one first because my stamina is lower than my reason. It's only by one, but it is a little lower. Right, hold on, what, what, can my, what can my gang do? I don't want to risk the losing a random ally because of the fact that I actually have a good ally. <laughs> right. No, it's not the spiritual actions at the moment. Here, uh, allies, allies will do eight damage. But the chance to hit's only 74%. Eight damage is like the best though. I can do eight damage or I can try and do 10 damage. With a 94% chance to hit. Hmm. You know what? I'm I'm gonna do the guaranteed. Well, like I'm gonna try the ninety-four percent chance. Oh wait, maybe I. Oh, hold on. I do have my my camera. No, I don't have the camera in this run, but I do have my uh, ally distraction. I don't want to lose an ally though. Maybe I learn about them. Hmm. Oh, actually, you know what? Reduce experience by five. Raise the chance to hit by 10 for the rest of the encounter. Oh, it needs 55 time. That, that takes up quite a lot of time. Mm. Pros and cons. I mean, I could just run. 5% doom. You know what? Like, looking at these and how much damage they do and how much damage I can do, I'm, I'm actually going to be a little baby. I'm going to be baby. Baby coward. Coward baby. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I don't want to fight two of them. I'm running. I'm running. Goodbye. I love how I spent so long, like, trying to plan that out. What would be the best move? And at the end, I'm just like, you know what the best move is? It is to not fight. <laughs> All right. There it is. Let's hope you find an answer here. Let's investigate the quarantine wing. You've managed to sneak through the floor while avoiding the police and finally reach the quarantine ring ring wing where all the coma patients were brought in their pulses are slowly weakening and their blood pressure dropping you must hurry let's investigate the complete silence of this place hits you when you reach one of the beds all the patients are dead well i got ending b Woohoo! <laughs> shaken you sneak out of the hospital one thing is certain, though, with no sick people left alive, it's the end of this weird illness. Curious case of a contagious coma ending B. Alright, knowledge is key, I got experience, there's still hope, the doom reduces. I'm tireless because I didn't rest, and a day passes. Alright, if you do that one properly, you get to actually confront the, the dream creature. But I didn't because I wanted ending B, so it, it went well. The old god stirs. No! 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 The friendly dog disappeared last night. You'll have to find a new place to buy equipment. No. This is actually the worst town status. Like, I wouldn't care if everything got harder for me. How dare they? You know what? You know what? I think the dog ran away because the dog was just like, you know what? This place is kind of messed up. I'm going to leave to somewhere safe. The dog is now sipping sipping drinks from a coconut on a beach somewhere. Having a great time. But okay, so it's all right now. 
Let's go home. I got another small key for the lighthouse. Two down, three to go. What's it like outside? Uh, it's a nice day outside. That's good. Anyway, um, I have an empty bottle. Let's go fill it up. Let's fill up my bottle with water. I now have a bottle of water. And I'm thinking maybe I get my... Oh, do I get my stamina up? I think I'm going to get my stamina up because I have ways to get reason up. But stamina's a bit harder, so I'm going to have a hot bath. That's better. Ooh, help with the sore muscles. Let's see what's on TV. A minor earthquake in the seaside region has revealed an entrance to a partially flooded cavern system. Local scientists believe some of the corridors could be man-made. Mysterious. Let's have a little peek out the door. Oh, hi! What's, what's that? Probably just my imagination. It's just my neighbor. That's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm sure he's okay. Um, I, I think I might have scared him off. He might have social anxiety and realized I was looking and ran back home. I think it's fine. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna change my clothes back to the casual outfit because I, I want to match how I look at the moment. I'm gonna do that. Look at that though, looking good. I'm so stylish. Oh, I'm so glad I managed to make it work with uh, both of the different outfits. I would like to do the comfy outfit as well at some point. I want to add add that as another another potential option. But uh, that wasn't happening this year. <laughs> with ev with how busy I've been, that's definitely not happening this year. Oh wait. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you know what? I'll just change the hair too. I'll be matching. There we go. <laughs> I'm matching now. Thank you for the outfit change, Rudy. <laughs> oh, thank you for the head part too. <laughs> now I match. Fabulous. Right, let's do another mystery. So uh, we've solved the mystery of the ramen. We've solved the mystery of the comas. There is now the the bizarre bruit of the blood-curdling botanist. There is the sorrowful saga of the moonlight sailors. And there is the far-out fable of a fear festival. I kind of want to do the festival. Yeah, I'm going to do the festival. Far-out fable of a fear festival. Your aunt has sent you a letter inviting you for a curious-sounding festival. It's held every 27 years in a small village. You don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree. You need a break from all the stress. <laughs> no, why is this so real? Inside the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's the worst thing that could happen, you ask yourself as you board the bus? It, it, it's just going to be a nice vacation. I'm just having a lovely holiday at a festival. It's going to be so nice. But I really like this mystery because this one is... It's got its own, like, setup to it. Like, there's this one, there's the one with, like, the school scissors, which has its own setting. I really like the ones that are a bit more, like, standalone. I think they're very cool. Anyway, today's goal. Explore the weird village. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village, and the nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. Someone is waiting for me? Day one arrival. Oh, hey! A fat man wearing dusty overalls approaches you. It's the inn owner who promised to pick you up. Following close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are so deformed they re resemble claws more than hands. It must be hard to do things like that. I feel sorry for him. All right. Good morning, day one. Your group has arrived in the village and is currently unpacking at the inn, giving you some time to explore. The festival begins in the evening. To progress this mystery, choose actions that will advance the clock. As you learn about the terrible secret of this village, more actions will unlock. What, what if there isn't a terrible secret? What if the terrible secret is that, um... Uh, there's actually, like, tax evasion going on and that's the whole mystery. I think it's fine. Anyway, I'm going to click the bottle of water just because it keeps splashing. 
All right, well, I've got, I've got salt. No, these dog treats are so useless now. No. No, this is so sad. I, I will keep this in my inventory forever to remember the dog. I, I will never forget the dog. Best, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Right, well, I can, I can check out the weird village. I can explore the weird village. Or I can check out the inn. Oh, this is a free action. Let's go here first. The inn's room is dusty, like it hasn't seen any visitors in years. You wonder if anyone cleaned it since the last festival 27 years ago. There's a folder of available activities lying on the table. 27 years is such a strangely specific number. Uh, available activities? Uh, onsen sounds good. Oh, oh, hello. I could check out the painting. I'm gonna check out the painting. Hi, oh! You freeze in terror, something on the painting moves. There's a hole in it. Are you being spied from the nearby room? Oh. Glad I spotted that quickly, hello. Right, it's the evening now. So I can either enjoy the festival, which is a free action, or check out the staff only area in the inn hmm hmm i mean i'm sure it's fine what if i just the festival's in the evening i can check out the staff room tomorrow morning i think it'll be fine let's enjoy the festival i i'm i'm so stressed out i want to have a nice time at a festival it sounds nice yeah, it's like, what's the worst that can happen? Like, when your favorite Chinese place got shut down for human trafficking and money laundering. Oh, but the... F oh, no. That, that is wild. That's so wild. That's the kind of thing you don't ever expect to actually happen. You're like, that, that happens in, like, fictional media. That doesn't happen in real life, right? <laughs> but then it's like, it's also so funny because there are some... There's some stores relatively close to where I live like weird specific stores for like specific things I never see anyone in there it doesn't seem like it's an actual store that is actually open but it's been open for years and I'm like that it has to be a cover for something it has there has to be something going on there that is not like this uh, specific kind of store like it's but I'm, I'm, I don't ever, like, want to look into it because that's scary. <laughs> but it's always so funny, just like, there's no way you're this kind of shop. There's, there's no way. You wouldn't still be in business. Not with the way businesses here, like, close after a year. <laughs> oh, our local high street. Like, my local town in the high street. I, it's it's like, a, like a carousel. Like, a shop will open up, and then the next year it's gone, there's a new shop there. And then the next year it's just like an empty unit and then another store will pop up and then it's closed again. They just keep closing. The only stores that survive are like the charity shops. <laughs> it's all just charity shops. Nothing else survives. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit sad because there have been some really cool stores that were like genuinely great. And then it's like, no, we had to close down because the <laughs> it's too expensive. <laughs> But also, water. hello, welcome, welcome. Who's in the game? I don't know who this. I just realized how low my reason is, I'm frowning. <laughs> but welcome, welcome, welcome to the Lyri mod for World of Horror. Maybe now is the time to get a bit of reason back. 10 experience. I've been getting more experience because of the compass, so I think it's a, a fine payoff. So I'm gonna cast that spell. I'm gonna lose 10 experience. I'm okay now. I'm okay now. Most importantly, is there a public download link? Check the pinned message. <laughs> I'm going to be making posts about it later with, um, like, easier links and stuff. But for now, there there is a download link. It is available in the pinned message. And uh, it will be available on my Discord server after the stream as well. And also, I'll be posting it on Twitter and Blue Sky. But yes, it is available. It's out now. I actually fully made it. Anyway, we're gonna go to the festival. It's gonna be a really nice time. 
there's still some time before the festival starts. The locals are seemingly busy uh, setting up stands and decorating the place. A few stands are already open, but you can't shake off the feeling something is wrong. It's getting late. Ooh. Oh, this is where the dog went. Oh, we're fine. The dog just went to the festival. We're good. Ooh. No, I'm going to go back. I, I think I do want to check out this. I, I want to see who's spying on me. <laughs> Let's check out the staff only area. At the Red Inn. Worried and furious about the hole in the wall, you enter the inn from the back, trying to find the room that connects with yours. Thinking you've finally found it, you enter and... All wars are, walls are covered with blood and gore. Someone has scribbled weird symbols everywhere. You spot... something on the nightstand. But there's too much flesh and blood to tell what it is from here. Alright, well, let's, let's pick it up. <gasps> I failed the strength check. Oop. <laughs> the gore is too much for your stomach. When you finally compose yourself, you grab the thing. For a second, you were worried it was a skull you had in your hands. But as you wipe more blood off, it's clear you've picked up a weird-looking mask. And we're on to day two. I've got a Karukosa mask. Faster spiritual actions. Ooh. Can you see in it? Hey. That's interesting. All right, day two. Today's goal, learn more about the festival itself. A weird sound wakes you up. You step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the moon comes from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest's edge. One by one, they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? Well, I have a torch too. Maybe I can infiltrate them. Who are they? They all wore strange masks. <laughs> Should you follow them into the forest or try to find more information about the festival? Hmm. The weird sounds coming from the forest kept you up at night. What could it all mean? Let's have a look at this mask. This is slot B. So I will put my backpack away, but I don't have that many items at the moment. <laughs> Shall I put the mask on? <laughs> I put the mask on. And now I have faster spiritual actions. Um, I wonder if I will fight any ghosts. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Okay, um, well, I guess I'm going into the forest. Look, I've, I've got my torch. I have a compass. I'm wearing the mask. I, I think they'll think I'm one of them. Maybe. Let's go. What's the worst that can happen, right? Oh, I, I also have my gang with me, I guess. <laughs> I forgot about them. <laughs> Ooh. A parasitic organism burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. Okay, I can't, like, cut it out with a knife, but I can investigate it. Thankfully, I'm very knowledgeable. All nearby trees are connected underground. The main branch leads east. You make a mental note to avoid the region. Went well. I'm so glad I'm smart. Poor... Oh. Should I go to the forest again? Or do I wait until night? Although I guess like it's it's evening now. I want to go into the forest. I want to find the find the people in the forest. Oh yeah, I sure I'm out of money, huh? Um it is a bad time to be out of cash. Um my stats aren't super great at the moment. But I guess I do have my bottle of water, so what I might do is I'll do the jar of blood and then have, have a little sippy of my water. Jar of blood. Okay. I have money. Got a bottle of water. Let's, let's give that a drink. Get my stamina back up. <laughs> and I'm, I'm actually going to put the dog treats away just so I have space in my inventory now that I don't have the backpack equipped. But I have an empty bottle too, so I guess I, like, I could throw that at someone's head if I need. Glug glug. 
Right, someone is watching you from behind the trees. I'm going further in. I'm going further in, forest at night. I'm... I'm in this now. <laughs> forest ritual. I don't have a robe! Oh! The suspicious group you've been following is gathered in a nearby forest. They're enacting some sort of ritual in, in a clearing up ahead. The only nearby vantage point is a large rock. I'm not going to be able to climb this rock. I'm... <laughs> I don't have the robe, so I can't infiltrate them, but, um... I guess I'm gonna scramble on a rock and fall. Yep, I fell. You fall down and injure yourself. Luckily, you managed to limp away unnoticed. Oh, okay. Day three. Today's goal. <laughs> Going back to the inn, you overhear two masked villagers. They're talking about something awakening at the next dawn. You wonder what's up with that? It's not safe here. You decide to block the entrance to your room with a nightstand. The festival is ending tomorrow and you can't be too careful. I need a robe. How can I get a robe? Villagers seem to follow your every step here. Maybe if I... Explore the weird village. Yeah, let's go have a look in the weird village. Oop. Hidden cults, great. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. I have been cursed. That's great. Also, Magriel, hello, welcome back. How's the first run going? This is... <laughs> Let's just call this the first run. It's, it's going okay at the moment. It could go either way. It's a little spicy at the moment. It's very, very possible that I lose. But it's not going as bad as it could be. I'm on the third mystery and exploring a festival, and I just got cursed. Oh, I'm masochistic. <laughs> okay, um, I regain one reason at the start of each enemy encounter, and my max reason is reduced by two. It's great. It's great. I love it. I love it. Also, no, I'm wearing a mask, don't worry. <laughs> I have a mask on at the moment. It's, um, it's a weird mask covering my face. There's, there's people doing shady stuff in the forest. I need to find a robe so that I can try and infiltrate them. But yeah, don't worry, it's a mask. I, I, I still have a face. <laughs> oh. I wonder... Let, let's go check out the festival. Um, maybe if I buy some souvenirs. There might be a robe here. Oh, pumpkin ritual mask! Wait, look at that! Uh, you can wear it or you can use it uh, to cook it and eat it. Small chance of ignoring reason loss in combat. That's actually really nice. Whoa. And there's the map. There's a happy coat. And a bottle of milk. Boop. I can't boop the snoot on, you, on this dog. Oh, it's a shame. But no, there's no robes here. I think I, think I die here. It's okay. Why is it so quiet all of a sudden? I'm really hurt. Is there anything I can do? Because that's injury removal. I haven't got any injuries. I can get my reason back for some XP. Which might be worth it. To at least have something a little higher up. It's, it's, it's not looking great. Hmm. I'll leave it for now. I believe in myself. Anyway, why is it so quiet? Is that blood? Where is everybody? Night free. <laughs> Today's goal, find the missing people. A trail of blood and sickly smelling sludge leads to the outskirts of the village. Somewhere in the dark forest, there's an answer waiting for you. Four actions until sunrise. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can either explore the forest or I can rest at camp. I need to rest, I think. It's not good. But I think I need to. I got one stamina back. Oh, that really wasn't worth it. I No, I'm, I'm just exploring. I'm just going. I'm just going. Hillside thicket. The trees overhead block the sunlight and you begin to feel gloomy. Great. You start to recognize some of the paths and rocks you've seen earlier. 
All right. You follow the faint sound to a telephone line pole. The moment you notice giant hairy balls underneath it, they start to twitch and rise. Hello? Hi. Oh, okay. Well, you do doom for damage, so I guess it definitely could be worse. There are ways of dealing- oh no, my doom is already really high. It's, it's not that great. Mm. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the know your enemy. I want to assess the situation and learn about my enemy. <laughs> Thank you, Automod. Thank you, Automod, for making it weird. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, this is... Mm. Right, so I, I want to have a look at it. I want to find out what it's weak to. And then I'm just going to hit it a bunch and hope for the best, I think. What can I do? Like, I can use my torch. I could use that twice, but it's only a 75% chance to hit. Or I could just let my allies attack for 8 damage. That might be more worth it. 40, 50, 60, 70. Yeah, I can do that. Let's, let's just have my allies hit. There we go. They got this. 8 damage. That's pretty decent. Have a look at you. Oh, weak against fire. Oh, I should have attacked with my thing. <laughs> it makes sense. Monster weak against fire. Parasitic monsters who connect to random people through telephone lines using tales of idle gossip to lure these victims to a remote spot to be ambushed and eaten. I see. You're trying to ambush and eat me. Well, what if I... What if I hit you? with my torch. What if I do that? Yes? Yes! Look at that! Okay, okay. Yeah, four health left. Let's just do guaranteed hit. Uh... Seven. Yep. Yeah. Gone. I defeated Tatoru! <laughs> Woo! And I get to level up! Let's level up before I resolve the combat, because I'm scared. Improvise, uh, throwing items is more effective. Leadership plus one charisma. Uh, outdoorsman plus one luck. You know what? I'm going leadership at the moment. I've got so many, I've got like such a little entourage at the moment. I've got so many people with me. I want the leadership. I, I can guide everybody perfectly. I am the leader here. And then I'm going to wimp out and get stamina instead of an actual stat increase because my stamina is pretty low. And I'm scared. Boom. Leveled up. Because look, self-therapy, leadership, and I've got four friends with me. I think I'll be okay, maybe. An abandoned factory. This must be the place they took everyone. All right, in I go. Uh-oh. While exploring the factory, you're caught by masked people you've seen from the inn's window. After tying you up, they bring you to the cult leader. We knew you'd come. You hear a raspy voice, your aunt's voice, coming from behind the priest's weird mask. She signals towards the door behind her. Our master is waiting for a final blood sacrifice. No? No? I don't want to be a blood sacrifice. Hello? Oh, hi. Whoa. Hello. Hello? Oh, yeah, this is the same ending as last time. Last time I did this. That's okay. With a loud bang, the ancient horror disappears and the high priest falls to the floor, grabbing their shoulder. The last thing you see before blacking out are the beams of flashlights and the hand of a police officer saving you from falling. Later that day, detectives interrogating you are confused when you tell them about the ritual blood and eldritch being. 
The village is abandoned, with no trace of blood anywhere. You were the only one seeing the ancient horror. Far out fable of a fear festival ending A. Okay, but if it's not real, where'd I get this mask from, huh? Huh? Well, you couldn't catch the leader of the cult to interrogate them, the people are safe. But I know it's my aunt! <laughs> I recognize her voice! Can't I just say, hey, that was my aunt? <laughs> you board the old bus, wondering what would happen if you didn't stop the ritual in time. Well, at least I made it there. Well, I got thir 30 experience... 15 experience for a thorough investigation, I guess because I got my mask. There's still hope. And time passes. Whew. The old god stirs, and the prices are increasing. Great. Preparing for the worst, people are stocking up on everything, making it harder for you to find what you want. That's fine. I don't need to buy things. I'm fine. I've got an empty bottle, some salt, and a weird mask. Inside your mailbox, you find a small key. Key number three. Right. Uh... <laughs> I think I need a cold bath to help with my reason. Um, nothing in there. What's it like outside? The ghost gray mist envelops the whole town. Ah, True, does it even matter when the shop Sheba's vacationing? I, I guess it's like every shop, because th there are multiple shops in the game. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm like, if the dog's left for now, so I, I don't care about buying things anymore. <laughs> I'm not interested. I, I was only interested because the dog was such a, a great sales dog. Anyway, let's have a bath. Let's fill up my bottle again. Wait, I wonder if, if I had just... Oh, you filled one bottle already. Okay, I, I wanted to know if I could just, like, keep refilling the bottle if I drank it, but no, I can't. Now I just have an empty bottle. That's okay. That's all right. I needed the stamina anyway. Let's, um... Let's, uh, get some focus. Huh. Pull myself together a bit. <laughs> What's on TV? Oh, I saw that. Demolition of an old inner city shrine has resulted in an array of unfortunate accidents. And, most recently, the death of six people suspected of arson. <laughs> well, I'm alive, so I clearly wasn't one of the arson suspects. It's fine. Um, let's have a little peek outside. Hi! Yeah, I think he's fine. He's fine. Uh, right, let's start a new mystery. Okay, we've, um... We've had ramen, we've had coma, we've had the festival. So now it's either the Moonlight Sailors or the Blood Curdling Botanist. Let's let's go for the, the Botanist. I've only got one ending for this so far. So let's see if I can not get ending B. I'm probably going to just get ending B because it's been so long since I played this, I don't remember. <laughs> Your neighbor asked you for help. Her husband Shiro-san has gone missing. She's worried it might be connected with the new fertilizer he ordered from Tokyo. Okay, no, I remember this one. <laughs> Where is he, and why would he need so much fertilizer? Let's investigate. You've got the business card of a gardening company where the missing man was working. Maybe some of his colleagues could tell you something useful. Maybe they could. Thank you for the hydrate! Let me have a sippy. I mean, I could just get my backpack back out and take the mask off, but I kind of like the fast spiritual actions. In case I get caught off guard and a ghost pops up, I feel like it would be quite useful. Right, let's, um... Shall I go to school? Right, let's, let's go downtown to begin with. And then maybe I'll go to school. I mean, I could check out the occult shop as well, but my doom is quite high. I, it's probably not best to risk it. Let's go downtown. It's an old friend! Hey! You're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to the paranormal. Maybe she knows something useful. Let's go for a coffee! Yeah! 
In between conspiracy theories and Bigfoot sightings, you hear a worrying rumor about an old god slowly awakening to rule the earth once again. Could this be the reason for the recent horrific events? It, it possibly could be. Nice. Yeah, that was worth the money for the coffee. Shiro-san has always been a weirdo, but he's good at what he does. Last month, he ordered a pack of ex an experimental fungicide from Tokyo. I think I've seen the dispatch order with an address somewhere, the old man says. Help me move this dirt and I'll look for it. Um, I, I can help with that. Let's get the address first and then I can go to school, maybe. Let's keep going. <gasps> Metro ride! The only metro line in your town connects the university and the science complex. You could take a ride to gain some time, but you've got a feeling something is wrong. Where are all the people? I'm not getting on that. Walking to your destination takes precious time. That is fine. I'm not getting on that. <laughs> While the dispatch order is stained with a foul-smelling liquid, you think you can make out the address. At least parts of it. The house is somewhere in the nearby forest. Okay, before I go into the, the forest, I'm I'm gonna do some research at school. <laughs> oh, hello! Hi. There you are. Hello. Hi. Isn't that nice? Uh, let's go to school again. The school kitchen! Ooh, ooh, ooh. You enter the kitchen. Even though it's abandoned and the lights are off, something is cooking in a large pot. You don't like the smell of it. Okay, I think my torch is decent as a weapon. Let's look for a first aid kit. That feels like it would be very useful. Are you kidding? 12 plus 1 for a knowledge check? That's why! 12 plus 1! Why do I even try being smart? <laughs> I shouldn't. I shouldn't. I should just put everything into strength and just... Uh, you can't find the first aid kit anywhere. Could it have been moved somewhere else? Probably. Ooh. A new yet undefined species of the cordyceps fungus has been observed to infect rats taking over their bodies. Could it have the same effect with other mammals? Yay! I love The Last of Us. <laughs> Woohoo! Good times! Great! <laughs> Why do I even try being smart? <laughs> Wait, you can, you can add that as a, as a quote. That would be a good quote for the bot. <laughs> Hi, Sophie! Welcome, welcome! Happy Tuesday! Welcome to World of Horror featuring my my custom character mod of me. Except you can't see my face at the moment because I have a, a creepy mask on. <laughs> But welcome, welcome. The the moral is shaping to be be dumb and do crimes. Yeah, it's everything I say not to do. I'm just like, uh, use brain cells, don't do crimes, that's illegal. Oh, I never heard it a quote before. Oh, it's it's in my about section. I, I always forget which way around it is. But uh it's yeah, there it is. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for adding the quote. That's great. That's great. I'm amazed that nobody added the quote I made earlier about like um people being susceptible to fire or whatever it was. <laughs> it's like people burn too, right? <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Right, let's um Okay, I've investigated the school. I've learned about the cordyceps, which uh, possibly could infect um living creatures. Uh let's go find this person's house. I'm sure it will be fine and not full of fungus. There's a priest here! Oh, we're, oh, hold on. An old man stops you and invites you into his house. You follow reluctantly, only to be amazed by the number of dusty old sorcery books inside. I can teach you a thing or two about magic, he says. Don't worry about payment, I'm sure we'll work it out in the future. I can let my... I can let Ryoko talk to this man. Because I've got Ryoko the park ranger. Let's let's have her talk to the man. And maybe threaten him. Ooh! Hisashi, says the park ranger. Remember your bear problem last summer and who helped you with it? 
Consider helping my friend and maybe we'll call it even. I just got a free spell. Thank you. Thank you, Ryoko. That's great. That means I don't have to worry about... Um... Oh, it's just another memory extract. I already have that. Well, I can forget it and get one reason, I guess. I'll get two reasons because of my self-therapy. Okay, that works. <laughs> that works out. Ooh, it's dark. You don't remember the trees growing so close to each other. Now I just have to explore. Let's, uh... Let's just go in the middle. Strange markings. A sudden storm forces you to find shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave's walls. Let's, um, look at them in the light. The flashlight's beam reveals additional symbols hidden in the shadows. They help you interpret the spell instructions drawn on the cave's wall. I got another spell. I'm getting spells. Oh, it's the... <laughs> ah. I'm gonna keep hold of that. Uh. <laughs> it does mean I'm full on spells though, so if I had a chance to get another spell, I wouldn't get it. I'm kind of tempted to just get rid of this one because 4% doom to receive a free injury removal. I think at this point, this late into the investigation, if I get injured, I'm just gonna like deal with it. So I'm gonna forget that. Get a bit more reason back. Uh, it branches in two different directions. Which one is the correct one? I think this one. Bloody sweater. Walking through the woods, you discover a sweater. It's torn apart and covered in blood, but where is the owner? I guess they did. A wild beast must have killed this poor person. You say a quick prayer before continuing. Oof. Definitely a, a, like a, definitely a bear or something. Uh, let's go this way. Resting place. It's said that a famous priest died on this rock. Perhaps his mysticism has seeped into it? Um... I don't want to do that. Disturbed by your surroundings, you take a step, step back and trip on a branch. <laughs> yeah, that's me. That, that's very me. You stumble upon a half-eaten deer carcass. This is either the right way or the wrong way. I got a new achievement! Wait! Nice! I don't know what achievement I got, but I'm, I'm glad I got it. Right, let's investigate the clearing. Carvings. I don't have the camera this time. While wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings on one of the trees, and by the look of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? I mean, my knowledge is nine. It's probably going to roll a 12. But I'm going to try and decipher them anyway. No, I did it. Yes. Rolled a five. I have eight. Knowledge check success. You're certain the missing people were here. You're on the right trail. Yes. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah, like in the in the in terms of like this game, I think if the whole world was doomed, just being eaten by a bear is like probably one of the nicer ways to go. Like, if it's that, I'll get, like, possessed by, um, Lovecraftian fungi. I'm... I I, I think I'd probably pick the bear. <laughs> also, t wait, you got two spam calls literally at the same time? Oh. Was it, like, different ones? That's wild. That timing. Right, let's go this way. It's gonna be the last thing I find, I bet. Ooh, uh-oh. Walking through a tree nursery, you suddenly stop. Something feels... off. Isn't it too early for the leaves to change their color? Before you can continue your investigation, someone grabs your leg. Bark woman! Well, this is a situation for fire, right? <laughs> this is a fire situation, I'm thinking. Yeah, I think this is a fire situation. I just need to decide what I want to try. Like, I can try two five damage ones. Or one seven damage one that's guaranteed. 
These will be 90%. I'm, I'm going to try with the 90%. Go okay, boost, boost, boom. Boost, boost, boom. And they're just going to hit. And it'll be fine. Yep. Yep, and the enemy is weak to my fire. So yeah, Bark Woman attacked me, but it's okay. Because now I do the guaranteed attack. Oh no, it's only seven. Never mind. Uh, clear. I've got to try it again. Five. Five. Yes. Yes, got her! Fabulous! That went really well! And I got another level! <sighs> okay, there's art knowledge. Plus one perception, eye for art and details. There is quick thinking, there's always a way out, and there's hot bath, improved resting. I'm not resting at home that much. I want to do, I think I'm going to do the art knowledge. I want the extra perception. And you know what? I'm actually going to put another point into perception as well. I'm just going to increase my perception loads because that is, um, let me double check. That is the damage type of my torch, right? I think it is. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure Torch works on perception, so yeah, I'm just going to do that. I want to perceive things. Got him. Yeah, it's perception. Nice! So I've got self-therapy, I've got leadership, and art knowledge. So if I see any creepy paintings again, I'm, I'm going to know what's up. I've, I've studied up on them this time. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, I'm I'm still not finding anything here though. It's gonna be the last one I check, I bet. Where am I going? Into the thicket. Into the thick of it. Despite your best efforts, you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change. Location's threat level increases. Wonderful. Great. Just what I wanted. There's an abandoned hut. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go, I think I made it. Finally, after what felt like hours of following the dirt road, you find the old mansion. It's completely overgrown with plants you've never seen before. In front of the mansion, there's the gardening company minivan filled with boxes. Slowly, you enter the building with caution. You stand in the middle of the room when suddenly the floor gives way and you fall down to the basement. Falling through the hole in the floor, you find yourself in an overgrown basement. In the corner lies a man you recognize. It's Shiro-san, the missing gardener. You must help him escape this cursed place. Must I? Must I? Plants are attacking you. You must protect the injured Shiro-san and lead him to safety. He will continue to lose health each turn. Do I? Three XX damage? Was that like 300? Anyway, um... I'm going to stop and take a closer look at Shiro-san's injuries. <laughs> Shiro, what? <laughs> Let's see how he is. Let's have a look. Yep, that's what I thought! The top of Shiro-san's head flies off, revealing his brain. Out of it bursts the fruiting body of a fungus. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, four damage to everything. Oof, they hit hard. Oh, I may perish here. This might not be good. Can I survive this? Well, my base chance to hit is 80 at least, which is really nice. Yeah, I can, I, can, I can do guaranteed 10 damage, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. It might be enough. It might be enough. It might be enough. Um, I'm going to do boost, boost. It's a guaranteed hit. 100%. 5 damage. And I'm guessing because he's a plant, it's going to do one more. So that's 6. 12. And then if I do that again on the next turn before he, he can attack, I might survive. There, 12 damage, yes. 
Okay, I've been attacked. I've, I've only got four of each, but it's okay because I'm going to kill right now. Killing blow. Yes. There. Oh, I'm, I'm a little hurt. I'm a little hurt at the moment. A little bit. Whew. Whew. Wow. The fungus dies and with it, the gardener. With nobody to grow from, you hope that's the end of it. You finally understood something. The plants weren't attacking you, they were protecting you from the unnatural form of life. Yeah, that was the same ending I got last time, because it just makes sense. It's what you think you should do. It's like... That's all right. It's what I wanted to do. Weakened, you stumble out of the mansion, hoping to forget. All right, I got 30 experience, 15 for the, a thorough investigation. The doom goes down. I get, thank goodness I get a reason and a stamina. And a day passes. Woo! That was spicy. The old god stirs. A weird epidemic keeps staff at the hospital busy. Skipping the line will cost you more. Well, I'm, I'm not going to the hospital. That's fine. That's not a problem. Let's go home. Got another key. I only need one more. I only need one more, but I'm very, very in pain. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a bunch of... I'm going to do this one twice. I'm going to lose 20 experience, but get four reason. <laughs> Boom. Boom, there we go, my reason's higher now. And now I'm gonna have a hot bath. I'm gonna fill my bottle up. And I'm gonna have a hot bath. And then I'm gonna drink my water also. Okay, okay, that's a little better. <laughs> that's a little bit better. All right, what's on TV? Oh, that's the, the earthquake again, that's fine. What's it like outside? Um, the ghost grey mist envelops the whole town. 66% doom. Could be better, could be worse. That's that's okay. And anyone outside? Nope, I don't see anything weird. Neighbor's staying inside today. Right, uh... I guess... It's time for the last mystery, which is the Sorrowful Saga of the Moonlight Sailors. And I've, I've got endings A and B for this. I haven't got ending C. Don't know how to get it. Let's just see which one I get because it's been so long. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Also, Mel, hello! Yes, World of Lyri! I'm, I'm playing as myself in the game at the moment. I made a character mod for me. And it's, um, it's been going okay, actually, I think. Even if I keep failing all the knowledge checks with my super high knowledge. <laughs> it's been going pretty well, though. I'm having fun. But welcome, welcome. Sorrowful saga of the Moonlight Sailors. It began with one fisherman who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean. A dark, writhing ooze that mesmerized him beyond control. He hid himself away for a week, adoring it not to be seen until one moonlit night when a young girl spotted his boat drifting away. A single lantern swinging at the helm and the captivated fisherman singing eerily to his catch. Now, more and more fishermen have begun to find the vile ooze in their nets, and one by one they are disappearing. Soon the ocean will have taken them all. Poor oh, dearie. Oh dearie me. Yeah, it's going great. First run, no doubt. The <laughs> very first run. Very first one. Yes, uh, envy. Oh, you envy me? There's no need to envy me. You can make your own if you want. Uh, the modding system for World of Horror is actually really, really straightforward to do. It's really nice. But um, I, I worked super, super hard on it. Like, I made everything myself. I'm, I, I did the pixels myself. Like, I used some of the official art as, like, a base and a guideline and like to use as a reference for a lot of it but um i, d I did it all my by myself i worked very hard so it's <laughs> it's not like i was gifted it by somebody it, it wasn't like given to me I, I made it myself and I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out i i think i i kind of want to fix some of the sprites still in the future and i would like to add my comfy outfit as well but i'm i'm really happy i'm happy with it tiffy mod next <laughs> 
<laughs> Just play as Tiffany. You start your investigation, hoping to overhear some rumors at the fish market. Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to discard any items this time. We're just going to go downtown. Let's let's go check out the fish market with my gang. Do you want to look at my crew? Check out my crew, my gang. Desperate solution. A woman bumps into you as she runs from a beauty parlor. Before you can say anything, you notice her face. She's carved out her own eyes. If, if I can't see it, she cries, it can't see me, right? You shudder, seeing a, a faint vision of Goizo reflected in the beauty parlor's mirrors. Ooh. Wait, why did that make my stamina go down? I thought that said reason. That one said reason and it made my stamina go down. That's not cool. I don't like that. Also, yeah, you can have custom outfits with the with the characters it's um I've, I've got the magical girl outfit on at the moment well like i've got the mask on so you can't see my face but then like up up in the corner as well uh is the, my casual outfit they're both in you can choose in the home to to pick one <laughs> although you brave the stench for hours you glean nothing besides the fact that the fisherman had a wife perhaps you should pay her a visit yeah why not let's go say hi The roads seem to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in this neighborhood. I'm lost. And the doom goes up. So I don't like this. I don't like this. You spend hours trying to find a way out. Finally, completely exhausted, you end up on the main street as the passage to the blighted neighborhood slowly closes behind you. Ooh, I don't like this. When you arrive at the fisherman's house, it stands long vacated. Peering in through the dusty window, you recoil in shock. What's in there? A seamstress story. There's a local legend about a heartbroken seamstress. One stormy night, she broke into a local inn and stitched the unsuspecting guests together. Her final gruesome artwork. But that's just a legend, right? Right, let's, um... I don't want to look at the sewing machine. Let's check the cupboard. Oh, oh. <laughs> that one made me jump so much. <laughs> oh my goodness, I jumped so much. <laughs> oh no. Uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. We're okay. The fisherman's wife lies in the kitchen, mutilated and covered with black marks. Uh-oh. Following a suspicious person, you enter an old, rundown mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and has only two doors, one of which you came through. You can't see the strange man anywhere. Oh, I'm... I'm, I'm just going in now. Just... Let's search the house. Why not? Ooh! There's nothing really important here, but you think you might be able to use the one item you do find. I've got another bottle, great. Got an empty bottle, woohoo! Surely someone else must have caught one of these. You lurk around, hoping to spot one of them. Let's go to the seaside. Oh! I could check out the illegal den. I haven't been to the illegal den yet. But I do also only have one money, and my doom is quite high. Maybe I do that next time. Let's go to the seaside. Let's try find fish. Look at the waves. The waves lazily wash upon the shore. You take a deep breath. The fresh sea air clears your head. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. I love that. The young man has glassy eyes and mumbles his replies as he caresses his catch. The beating movements of his arms disturb you. What is going on here? Do I want to know what's going on here? Old Fisherman. You decide to enter a small shady bar in the docks. Maybe some of the old fishermen can help you in your quest. However, persuading them to do so might prove difficult. Quote. <laughs> I 
forgot about the exploding spiders that just started exploding. Also, don't worry, I can I can edit quotes after they've been submitted. I can I can go in and edit them for the the missing letters. But also, that's a that's a weird choice of quote. I would I I wouldn't consider that quotable, but it's it's okay. <laughs> It's more just like, it sounds like word salad when it's out of context. It just doesn't make sense. I do like the quote. <laughs> oh, I love that quote. I think I actually have to win. This is so sad. <laughs> this is when I wanted to lose on purpose. And I was like, I think I have to actually have to win. Good times. Also, Mama, hello. I'm in the game. I am. I made a mod. I made a character mod for the game. I'm, um, it's available for download in the pinned comment. If you have World of Horror and you want to play as Liri, uh, be warned. I'm absolute garbage in combat, but I am smart, and I've got a lot of friends. <laughs> but yeah, I, I made a mod. I made it all myself. I worked very hard on it. It's been it's been a work in progress for like three years, <laughs> but it's finally out and done, and I love it. But welcome, welcome. Uh, ba -ba. Maybe some of the old fishermen can help you in your quest. However, persuading them to do so might prove difficult. You know what? I'm going to try just talking to them. I am quite charismatic. And I don't have enough money to buy them around, I think. Um, unless they want a round of water. So I'm, I'm just going to try talking to them. I'm going to say hi. Yes, I passed. Charisma check. Nice. You catch the fishermen in a good mood. They tell you tales of sunken cities inhabited by underwater things with too many legs. Five experience minus one reason. That is okay. I'll take that. I'll take the experience at this point. I'm so close to leveling. I'm so close. Also, Momok, hello. Welcome. And Shy Pie, welcome on in. Welcome. Hello. I'm playing as myself. I'm. It's so funny because I just put this mask on, so I'm... <laughs> So you can't even see my face in the game. I got the mask over it. But uh, but welcome to World of Liri. And thank you for the hydrate as well, Magrio. I will have a sip of my peach monster, peach time. More sippies. But welcome on in. Have I ever read a webcomic called XKCD? I, I feel like... I'd be surprised to find someone who hasn't seen an XKCD comic before. <laughs> I've, I've read quite a few of them. I've, I've not ever, like, just sat and read through all of them. But I've seen a fair few of them. <laughs> After a slow interrogation, the young man manages to stutter out something about an organized fishing trip. That sounds cool. That sounds like fun and not terrible. I'm at the docks. The town's docks are a mix of modern warehouses, small shops, and bars where the alternative crowd gathers. An ancient wooden temple occupies the small hill at the town center. I wonder if I should try pray at the temple. Because like I don't I can't recruit any more allies. I have enough. Looking for a warehouse job seems like a really bad idea with how low my strength and dexterity is. Yeah, I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna pray. It doesn't matter if you believe or not. The smell of burning incense and old wood calms you down. Yeah, that was that was good. That was a good thing to do. Oh, my stamina is so low though. This is spicy. I'm sure I'll be fine. I think I'll be okay. You slip out at night and race towards the beach, terrified of what comes next. All right, let's go. I'm at the beach. The full moon shines bright in the cloudless night sky. The ink-black ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight and locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only audible sounds are your ragged breathing and pounding heartbeat. You arrive at the water's edge, breathless. The possessed fishermen's boats fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across a dark ocean under a dark sky. You cannot make out the figures on board. Hypnotized, you watch as they bob their way out of the harbor. Their lanterns move farther and farther away, and you hear the odd chanting slowly fade with the wind. You stand in the cold until the final boat is out of sight and it is pitch black again. There's nothing to do now. 
You head home, the weird chant still in your head. Oh, that was ending B. I wonder what ending C is then. That's fine. No one spoke of the fishermen after they sailed off. Grieving mothers would not let their children anywhere near the cursed beach. Over time, people forgot the last time they saw a boat out on the waves. Sorrowful saga of the Moonlight Sailors ending B. Alright, missing sailors, new events available. Oh, I should have done that like first. This should have been the first mystery I did to make it interesting. But I got 30 experience. The doom is reduced by like the tiniest amount. I get a reason and a stamina and a day has passed. And I level up, baby! And with that... Oh, quick thinking could be useful. Right, I'm not going to be doing this for the lighthouse. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go quick thinking. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my other one to increase my stamina. Because I'm only on seven. And I'd rather not waste doom resting. So I'm going to do that. Say, what do I think about timeline B? I, I've not really, like, done much with the game. Like, all of the playtime I've really had in this game has been, like, like the early access kind of stuff. I've not experienced a lot of stuff recently, a lot of stuff that's been added later on. Most of my playtime is the early access stuff. And then other than that, it's only been when I've streamed it. I haven't played much of the game otherwise. So I don't really have an opinion. <laughs> I don't I don't know enough about the game to know like anything, to be honest. <laughs> but it's okay. Anyway, the old god stirs. Oh no! No, I wanted to have a bath. No. There's something wrong with the tap water. It is black and oily and glistening, smelling like death. You hope it's just a temporary issue. I wanted to have a bath. No. This is so sad. Anyway, I've got five keys now. I got five keys. I've solved all these mysteries. I did, um,. Ramen, then coma, then festival, then fungus, then the sailors just went. I'm trying to remember the order because I, I, it's sometimes important. Oh, well, wait, now that I'm in the house, I can show you my other outfit too. Because I've got this, which is like the, the magical girl outfit I'm wearing right now. And then there's also my casual outfit. And they're both available. <laughs> And I'm very happy with it. But yeah, I, I worked super hard on the mod, so it's exciting to finally be able to actually release it. It has been raining since morning. You see, although Timeline B was in Early Access too. Yeah, but Early Access was like five years. <laughs> well, Early Access was like four years long. I Most of my playtime was like 2020 when it came out. I how, Hold on, let me check how many hours on the game I've got. Uh, I've got like 22 hours gameplay logged on Steam, so I haven't played like a super huge amount, but then uh, 12 of that has just been like the streams I've done. So I've only really got like about 10 hours gameplay, so I haven't experienced everything there is. So I, I, I do want to play more in my spare time, but I'll probably do it on my laptop so I can still keep getting achievements on stream and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've not... I've not done a huge amount. I haven't unlocked everything. There's a lot I have not unlocked. But yeah, yeah, it's no longer early access. I think it was actually last October. Uh, it came out of early access. It had like the full 1.0 release. But it is still being worked on very, very slowly. <laughs> Extremely slowly. It's <laughs> but uh, it came out on Switch as well. I've, I've actually got it on Switch. I, I bought a Switch copy of the game. Also, I guess that adds a bit of gameplay too, because I played it on the Switch a little bit as well. <laughs> right, let's see what's on TV. Once a year, a ramen shop appears where there was once an alleyway. The ramen sold inside is made from its former patrons, but can cure any health problem. Lovely. Let's have a look outside. Oh, everything's fine. Right, and uh, the, the, baths, the bath water's not going to be okay. Yep, they still didn't fix the water problem. It's black and oily and glistening. No way you're going to wash yourself in that. 
I don't have any bottled water, so I can't have a bath. That's fine. That's fine. Also, Semi, hello! Yes, I'm in the game. I made a mod. I made a, a mod for the game to add myself into it. It's, it's in the pinned message if anyone wants to download it. But yeah, I've been working on it for quite a while, but um, it's me. It's me with both of my outfits. I have high knowledge and charisma, but my strength and dexterity and perception are all terrible. My perception is only this high because I've been buffing it. But yeah, I made it myself. Uh, the game is actually really, really straightforward to mod. It's got a really nice, easy system to include like character mods and stuff. Also for like custom events and mysteries too. It's, it's very straightforward. It's very nice. But yes, I, I made the sprites myself. Um, with a lot of heavy referencing and help from the official sprites because I'm, I'm bad at art. But I'm happy with how they turned out. I, I want to like touch them up at some points. But I like them. But yeah, I'm, 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 I guess it's time now to head to the lighthouse. There's, there's nothing else I can really do. I think it's lighthouse time. My doom is 72%. I think I should still be okay. It depends on how things go in here. Anyway, let's open that. Let's open that. Let's open that. Let's open that. Let's get in the lighthouse. You finally made it inside the cursed lighthouse. Your gut is telling you two things. That whoever or whatever is behind the weird events must be on the highest floor of this place, and that you should run away from this place as far and fast as you can. You're afraid there won't be a way back once you start climbing these stairs. Oh, you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to rest just once and then I'm gonna go up yes there we go let's go let's go I'm going I'm going you're not sure it's physically possible for me to lose at this point no it, it is incredibly easy for me to lose at this point it is phenomenally easy for me to still lose at this point so please do not say that <laughs> Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. A cable that should be powering it is currently disconnected. The power box itself is covered in a weird moist goo. Just inhaling the fumes makes your eyes itch and water, but to power the gate, you need to disconnect a faulty plug. I'm gonna get zapped. Boop. Yep, I, I don't have enough strength. And I lose three stamina. See, this, it's so easy. It's very easy. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> You're surprised at how much effort it takes to disconnect the faulty plug. As you force it, the weird goo burns your fingers. Finally, you manage to separate the faulty plug and connect the proper cable. With a buzz, the gate opens. Whew. Here we go. You are stopped by a girl wearing dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for her bag. It's too late anyway. You instinctively take a step back when you notice a knife in her hand. You have to think fast. Um, but, uh, can you, how about, how about no? How about you don't? You try to talk her into allowing you to pass. It's too late anyway, she whispers again, letting you continue. The delinquent girl nods sadly as you pass her. Whew, up we go. Keep going. The Trial of Knives. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. It's locked, but you notice an electrical cable. It seems to connect the door to a hole inside the central pillar. If there's a switch inside, you'll have to risk getting cut by the numerous glass shards and knives. I'm, I'm getting hit. I'm getting cut by them. Yep. Because my strength and dex are just so bad. You can feel the sharp glass ripping your flesh as you search for the switch. Finally, you grab a cable and follow it with your bleeding fingers until you find the button. With a buzz, the gate opens. Continuing up with my little entourage. <laughs> Climbing up the winding staircase, you're stopped by a masked man wearing an expensive suit. The rules have changed, kiddo, he says, taking the jacket and the mask off. Nothing personal, really. Hi. Hi. See, the thing is, you say here, it's impossible to lose, 
but if I had, if I do no damage and I just keep getting hit for two doom, I, I clearly lose. So, um, so it's not a guarantee. It's, it's never a guarantee. Because <laughs> of this guy. Because of this, this sneaky guy. But I think I should be fine either way. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, base chance to hit 105. That's really nice. Smack, smack. Yeah, just hit you for 10. Get burn. There's the doom. Boom, boom. Get hit again. And I'll take you out. I've defeated Takashi-san. Up the stairs I go. Here we go. Here we go. But yeah, um, I would like to say, please don't make comments like that as well. Because it's um saying like, well, there's a, you're, you're guaranteed like mathematically not to lose here. I, I don't want to know that. Like, I didn't know that i don't know the maths involved i didn't want to know that it's more fun when there's like the worry of still losing it is a little bit spoilery and backseatery so please don't make comments like that in the future i i i, I don't like being told because then it takes away the suspense if it's just like well you're gonna win now like i i'd rather not know that <laughs> but anyway oh thank you for the hiker redeem too hiker redeem Lighthouse Ascension. It is time to win the game. Somehow, I'm not dead. <laughs> Thank you for the haiku, Redeem. I got it. That, that, I actually really like that haiku. That was a good haiku. I like that one. I need to remember that one. I need to write that down afterwards. Following the winding staircase, you are stuck. Wait a minute. Someone broke into your apartment, stole all the clues and newspaper clippings, and pinned them here. The more you study them, you discover you can't remember any of them, except one. The second mystery I investigated was the coma! Thank you for the hydrate! Thank you very much. Oh, and I, I don't think I have a clip command, but uh, I've put a little, like, stream marker for myself, for, for my own reference. <laughs> but thank you! I'll have a sip of peach time. Peach time! But the second one was the coma! I remember that! I'm so glad. Now, it is time to win the game. I th maybe? Now it's time to win the game? I don't remember what the second line was, but it was Lighthouse Ascension and somehow I'm not dead. I like those ones. I don't remember what the second line was. Oh, you intended for Clip to be the market. That's great, thank you. That's actually really helpful, thank you. What was the... What was the second line I did? Because I kind of want to add it as a quote to the bot with the game. But I can't remember exactly what I said. I'll have to go back and check afterwards. It's fine. I'll figure it out. Uh, curious case of a contagious coma. I remember it. I ripped the newspaper clipping of a case you s seem to remember. Underneath it is a tiny button. You press it and with a buzz, the gate opens. <gasps> the dark s clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? Look, it's my head. Hello? What? I did it! As the unnatural fog slowly lifts, you are relieved and collapse on the floor. I did it! Ah! The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You've managed to stop the ritual awakening the eldritch old god, but what's done is done. It will stare in its slumber again and again until the stars are right once more. Congratulations! You're safe! For now. I did it! I did it! And it wasn't even on the skeptic difficulty. I... by accident. <laughs> I did it! 83% doom. That's not too bad, actually. It's pretty good. But I got seven new events, six new enemies, two new achievements. Pretty good. Pretty good. Beep. I did 
did. Nice. All right, what time is it? That that took me like two and a half hours. <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 a slow video game player. Right, I want to have a look at what achievements I've got. Maybe for the the last like three quarters of an hour, I can try and do some achievement unlocking. Right, uh, defeated an enemy with a baseball bat, baseball bat to unlock the flare gun. I discovered the hole in the painting and I've unlocked the glass eye item. Shop for items ten times in a single playthrough. I got dog treats. <gasps> Thank you for the quote ad. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> It is time to win the game. That was the one. Because it's would only be one syllable, so it's got to be two. Thank you! Thank you for going back and checking. I really like that haiku. I'm proud of myself for that one. Uh, I feel like the background on the end photo in particular gives the, the, my smile a smug aura. Well, I've, I've got like the, the smug sneaky face as my portrait in this. <laughs> Right, uh, Junior Scout, investigate 20 locations with a compass, unlocks the map, I got that. As Aiko, defeat the Mad Janitor, that unlocked Ikumi. Meet your other neighbor, I unlocked an outfit for someone. True Idol, at any point in the game have four followers, yes! I did that. Peeking Tom, m meet a school wraith haunting the corridor. That's what unlocked the Seal of Bramel spell, I see. <laughs> There, paid in blood. Have your ally die during a combat encounter. That unlocks a different ally. That's so funny. Restless. Complete a playthrough without resting. Unlocks the challenges game mode. Nice. Uh, research five spells in a single game. That all oh, army army knife item. Very nice. Also, Niles. Hello. Welcome. 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 How's it going? Mel, what are you talking about? I'm the idol. I'm the idol. What What do you mean? <laughs> uh, complete a game with the second character unlocks the cursed cartridge. Complete a game with the fourth character unlocks private school outfit. No, yeah, I, I no, I have played the game as the idol. <laughs> I've, I've played it as the idol character. Like, as soon as I unlocked her, I think I played with her. <laughs> uh, rolled a one during a stat check. Unlocks the Hermit Ally. Defeat an old god with over 90% doom. Unlocks the Bone Saw. I booped the dog and got the Innocent Student outfit. Win, win your first playthrough. Unlocks Endless Mode. Win your second playthrough. Unlocks Mimi. Win your third playthrough. Extended card pack. Fourth playthrough. Card pack. Ooh, I could do these ones. I could try and get these achievements because they're so easy. Lose your playthrough due to reason loss. Lose your playthrough due to stamina loss. Those are good achievements to try get. Win your fifth playthrough. Got another card pack. Gather five curses and locks Ayaka. Yeah, that's going to be from when I was testing. <laughs> when I was testing my character to make sure the curses worked. Win a playthrough using the world of horror backstory. That's all I've done. Unlock 15 achievements for the city of planning. 20 achievements for the occult shop. 25 for the illegal den. Oh, it's because I got the achievements. That's why the illegal den unlocked. So 30 is going to unlock another location, I guess. And then, oh, defeat Dream Devourer without killing a single patient. That's what I did last time I played this. This time they all died. <laughs> and forget five spells in one playthrough. Unlocks the protective carving spell. Nice. There's so many achievements here. Encounter three dream enemies. Have 30 cigarettes in the inventory. <laughs> Purify two cursed places. I don't know how to do that. Oh, enter the overgrown factory wearing the ritual robe and the Karakusa, Karakusa mask. I think I could do that. Equip two sources of light at the same time. That would be funny. Drink the blood of a forgotten beast and survive. Deal 10 damage with a single kick. I'm not getting that as me, that's for sure. As Miku take a hostage wearing Tokyo outfit. During combat, prepare to strike, but don't attack. <laughs> I can do that one too. Backstab a follower. Discard three books in one playthrough. Destroy your eye and open the third one. Let the real Judy in. Sacrifice your ally with a ritual dagger equipped. 
call Junko? A woo? I don't know Junko's number. Exercise a ghost? Change the date and stop the curse. Hmm. Break the blade. Complete a game with the first character, third character. Yeah, I haven't played it with like all of the unlockable characters. But I'm still gonna play as me. Cold turkey challenge, but dad challenge. Hire two allies in one playthrough and win. But I had like, oh, do, does it have to be specifically two? I guess it has to be specifically two. <laughs> hmm. More challenges, challenges. Lots of challenge ones. I think these ones are easy to do. I can get these achievements. I'm really good at losing. <laughs> Handcuff the ultimate opportunist. Lose your playthrough due to doom. Oh, I can I can do all three of these. Win a playthrough using the medical history backstory. Hunted by the cult backstory. Seventh curse backstory. I haven't unlocked most of these backstories. Join the club. More backstories. Ooh. Buy and return an expensive drug. Feed an outer entity. Some of these are so terrifying sounding. Win on hard. Reach turn 30 in endless mode. Whoa! 30, 40, 50. Meet and defeat something evil. I... Something evil was interested in me. I didn't meet something evil, I don't think. I might have? I don't know. Complete the parole violation challenge. <laughs> Thank you for the quote. It's true. It is true. Honestly, I love the I love the quotes. I I'm I'm I'd always rather like if someone's ever like, would this be a decent quote or not? Feel free to just add it anyway. If if I go through afterwards and I'm like, hmm, this doesn't add up to the other quotes, I'll just remove it. But it's like there's there, there's no limit. Just just keep quoting me. It's fine. <laughs> it's more fun. Equip carpenter hammer with both expel evil and regeneration learned. Find the missing girl. Oh, the sweater! I was just like, oh, she's just dead, huh? Scar's backstory, curious birthmark. There's loads of backstories. I've not unlocked any of them except the medical one. Own both baseball bats? Oh, defeat Kinoko Gatherer without any weapon? Oh. Defeat a human enemy in one combat round. Seventh playthrough, Yumiko. All achievements. I love that the all achievements achievement is just called Dude. <laughs> Dude. Right, anyway, you know what? Let's go lose. <gasps> Actually, you know what I'm going to do. I've got a great idea. Customize the playthrough. Yes, I've, I've got new... new events and encounters now. I'm doing the Leary Seed again. Because I want to do the festival. Leary. I did the festival. I forgot to turn this off again. It's fine. Right, me. Oh, hello! <laughs> Hi! Oh, this is Jury, I guess. Something terrible is stalking Jury, and with each passing day, its presence is getting nearer and nearer. Starts with the family curse. Nice. Right, one being me anyway. So, I could do the medical history backstory. Uh, you start with extra XP and bandages, but an injury may occur whenever the player takes damage in combat. Well, I'm planning on losing anyway, so let's try it out. Let's let's get hit and get some injuries. Old gods, boop a doop boop boop. Let's do the more damage. More damage, god. We got some fire. Discharge summary. I get 20 XP. That's a nice start. Alright, let's go home. Alright, I want the occult shop. Have I unlocked anything else? Yeah, this is all I have unlocked at the moment. So that'll do. And I'm home. I'm home. I got my library notes again. Do I do it? I think I do it. 
I think I go for it. Oh, it was a House Flipper 2 update yesterday. Yeah, I, I saw it. I got like the auto download on Steam. I haven't played House Flipper in a while because I've been focusing on like the, the horror games for spooky season. But I will be playing it again soon. <laughs> I, I miss the house flipping. It's, there's something so fun about house flipper. Right. So I've got an energy drink, a medical kit, a torch, and some library notes. Right, let's equip the torch. Let's get a bunch of spells. Enthrallment. Gain an additional follower to discard on use. Perfect. Give me a follower. I got Reiko. The naive socialite. Completing a mystery grants one funds. Okay. Nice. And Thermo, hello. Welcome, welcome. G -g -g Greetings. Welcome to the stream. I'm playing as me in World of Horror. Oh, I hope I, I hope you had fun drawing. I hope you had a, a good time. It's so fun when you start doing something and you end up getting so into it that you just keep doing it. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. Me, let's lose. Also accidentally win the game. No, see what I want to do is I want to win one mystery. I want to win the Far Out Fable of a Fear Festival mystery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with... Oh, okay, this one's different. Alarming account of abnormal arms. Let's, let's just do that one, whatever. Blum, blum, blum. I remember when it started. The woman next door was strangled to death in her bed with no sign of forced entry. The killer was never found and the apartment remained vacant. Right, and I want to go to the occult shop. I want to get myself a ritual robe. <laughs> And now I'm good. Now I'm good. Yeah, it makes sense. Not a big horror person, so you've already played basically everything remotely related you'd be interested in. Yeah, I'm... I feel like when it comes to horror, I love horror. I'm a big horror fan. But I'm not a fan of being chased. I don't like stealth and chase scenes and jump scares. And I feel like a lot of horror games that people think of are very, like, action-y, jump-scary kind of horror. I prefer things that are a bit more, like, on the, the psychological horror kind of side of things. <laughs> I like things that are really incredibly unnerve unnerving and twisted. <laughs> That's my kind of horror. But I like watching other people play those kind of horror games. But I play Deathmark. I, I want to. I want to play Deathmark. I really want to. Also, yeah, the um, the the fuzzy black thing. It's it's Sandra. It's the Sandra belt. Worm on a string. I <laughs> I do want to try and improve it at some point, but it's very hard to make a worm on a string with a limited pixel palette. And it was like it was more rushed towards the end. That the one standing sprite is the thing I'm least happy with in the mod pack because I ended up like rushing it at the last minute to get it released. So that is going to be updated and look better at some point. But I wanted to prioritize getting the mod out. <laughs> but yeah, I, I want to. I really want to play Deathmark. It looks really good. Yeah, psychological horror. Case in point, Stanley Parable. Honestly, it kind of is, though. Well, it's like, there are some, like, horrific moments in Stanley Parable when you think about it. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely more for, like, the, the psychological manipulation. Also, Tiffany is screaming outside my door. Because of the time zones changing, because of the clocks going back, Tiffany's thinking I'm like half an hour late to feeding her, and I can hear her screaming. I hear her outside my door and I feel so bad. If I let her in though, she's just gonna wanna leave again. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, I wish you could hear her too. I wish you could hear the squeaks, but it's, it's through the door. My mic's not picking them up. Also, I hope you have a good dinner. Thank you for stopping in, Haspen. Until next time we meet. But yeah, I, I really like psychological horror. But uh, for me, it's mostly like if I'm in a situation where there's like a time limit, where there's like an active time limit and you have to rush and do things like that, that stresses me out. I don't like that. 
And so many things are like chase sequences. You've got to find a place to hide. You've got to think fast. You've got to run. That's what I don't enjoy. But I, I like watching other people do it. <laughs> people who are actually good at it. I like watching them do it. Right, yeah, the, the true horror is Tiffany starving because I'm, I'm feeding her so late. Oh, do I try open the door and see if she'll stay in my room? I feel like she's just going to want to leave immediately when I do it, but um, I'm going to try. I'm going to open the door. move my mic back she doesn't want to scream yeah she just wants to leave my room again never mind it was worth a try and she is so loud when she's outside my door from outside the room she is screaming she's screaming her little head off and then as soon as she enters my room, she just starts going very, very quietly. And the mic isn't picking it up. <laughs> oh, Tiffany. One day, one day she will scream on stream and it's going to be really good. But anyway, let's just, um, I'm not going to like try too hard. I'm just going to rush through this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Confront the stranger. Nope, that was a 12. Great. Whatever. The apartment's on the third floor. There's no way someone used the window to escape the murder scene. In we go. Uh, creepy painting. It's disturbing to look at, but I passed the charisma check. Nice. Uh, odd placement of ventilation shafts. They seem too small for anyone to crawl through, though. Mail day. Shall we say hello to a friend? Hi. 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 I'm probably going to die before you get the chance to, m to meet me, but hi. Should interview the neighbors. Maybe you'll discover something the police missed? Maybe I will. There's a vending machine. Um... Walking through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of sodas inside, but you could really use a drink. Get an expensive one. The taste seems a little odd, but you enjoy the drink anyway. I'm sure it's fine. One neighbor is complaining about her missing underwear. Oh my. As you prepare a bath, you think about the possible leads so far. Yes, cold bath but I, I failed the strength check. Uh, my body wasn't prepared for a cold bath. Ow. Good times. Another neighbor is complaining about weird noises coming from the vents when she's at home. Just keep going. Suddenly, it got really cold in the corridor. As, as you turn to leave, you're stopped by a man with unnaturally pale skin and giant lips. He kisses the air and takes a step closer. Hi. No, thank you. No, thank you. Hmm.
I think I'm just gonna smack him once. No, I feel like I, I have to try and do more. 70% chance. 80 is not too bad. Let's let's just hit with 80%. It'll just work. Smack. No. Okay. I've got a torn muscle. No. This is so sad. How do I get a torn muscle from him kissing the air creepily and my reason going down? <laughs> you know what? Not even gonna question it. It's okay. Four damage, six damage. Ugh. This isn't great. Oh, I keep missing! I keep missing! Yeah. I'm, I'm not feeling so great. Uh. <laughs> now, now I got slapped, but I got the torn muscle from the kiss, I guess. I guess, like, I cringed so much that I... my muscles... <laughs> Yeah, I have to just keep trying. Come on. Yes! There we go! I defeated the gigolo. Get out of here. I can't lose just yet. I have to do the festival and then I can lose. <laughs> Let's check the building plan to find out if there's a place where all the vents connect. Let's go. A woman jumps out of her apartment covered in gore. Between sobs, she tries to explain what happened. She was taking a shower when suddenly the shower head started spraying blood. A trail of blood leads into the dark apartment. Let's, uh, let's calm her down a bit. Yeah. The woman sniffs and smiles weakly. You feel like you've prevented something awful. <gasps> let's go. Why, why am I getting the good results on the run where I'm planning on losing? <laughs> Every room is connected by vents coming from the unused boiler room. Could it be? You enter the dark boiler room and trip over the pipe. Cursing, you find a light switch and gasp in horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you can smell something vile and rotten. Hi. Hi. You almost fall to the ground when you see the wide open stare of the dead pervert, his elongated limbs stretching and disappearing into the vent's darkness. After the police arrive, the whole building gets searched. Following the arms, the detectives find the body of a man stuck in a ventilation shaft. Later, he is identified as the building caretaker. In his closet, police find pieces of underwear and voyeuristic photos of the tenants. You are questioned thoroughly and eventually released as the murder case is being covered up as a case of an unfortunate gas leak. I did it. And I get extra money because Reiko is my ally. Nice! Old Godsters, um... There's a school curfew now. Alright, let's go home, I got my key. Right, how am I looking? Let's have a cold bath. Actually, no experience. And now we're going to the festival. I have a ritual robe. I know how to get the mask. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it, and then we're gonna die. <laughs> that is the plan. That is the whole plan. Ritual, then perish. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's continue. All right, let's start out at the inn. Let's have a... Oh, ooh, what's behind there? Uh-oh, I'm being spied on. Uh, let's go see what's going on. Let's pick up the thing. I've got a mask. Oh, wait, I passed the strength check that time. Nice. I, I, I didn't, like, succumb to the, the viscera in the room. Alright, let me put that on. Look at that! I've got a mask and a robe. And a torch. They're not even gonna know. It's, it's just me. Alright, to the forest. I'm just gonna keep investigating the forest now. Hello. Um, knowledge check. Thank you. I'm just gonna keep going forest now. <laughs> Forest. Oh. And that was not an option before. 
bum, 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 bum. Let's go for the art knowledge. Why not? Art knowledge and perception. I'm going to sabotage the ritual. You pull the hood tighter around your face and blend effortlessly into the robed crowd. A toppling brazier interrupts the ritual and amidst all the chaos, you make your escape. I did that. Something's watching me behind the trees. I'm gonna watch it. This is gonna change things. Bum bum bum, something awakening at the next dawn. Yep. Oh, my reason's a little low. Maybe I... Maybe I go to the onsen or like, maybe I relax a bit. Yeah, let's relax a bit. Have a little relax, get my stats up. And now we go to the festival. Everyone's gone. We go to the forest. You follow the faint sound to a telephone. Oh no, it's these again! No, it's the Tatoru! Oh, it's just doom damage, that's fine. I can just run. I can just flee. Goodbye. Goodbye, can't be bothered with you right now. <laughs> Again, auto mod, please! <laughs> Again! It's Harry Balls, guy! See, last time you said Harry Ball, this time you said Harry Balls. It's different. <laughs> Thanks, Auto Mod. Love it. It's great. <laughs> Twice in a stream and for the same thing as well. I think that's the funniest thing. <laughs> right, let's keep exploring the forest. Uh, use my flashlight. I got a spell. Third eye. Plus one knowledge and perception until the end of the mystery costs three reason. Kinda tempted. I think this is an achievement actually to open your open your uh, oh my god. Yeah, Automod really doesn't like <laughs> that time it had a comma. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. Automod is so determined. Like I'm glad. I would rather Automod was a little bit um enthusiastic. As opposed to letting things slip through, but oh, this is so funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Let's just increase that, why not? An abandoned factory, we found it! Let's go, let's see how differently this goes now that I have um, sabotaged the ritual. And I'm also one of them, there we go. The master's waiting for a final blood sacrifice. Hi. 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 Hello. Mm hmm. It's still this again. I guess there's more I have to do. There's more I have to do in order to, um, to get the different endings for that, I guess. Well, it's, it was worth a try. Uh, let's, let's perish. <laughs> let's perish. Here we go. Um, time to not survive. All right. It's the fungus again. Right. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wander around in the forest and let things hit me. That is my plan now. Wait, hold on. Do I I can hold on. I know exactly what I can do. Oh, you wouldn't want a fourth eye, would you? Okay, no, I can only do that once. Well, my reason's three now. Let's let's try and let's try and lose to having no reason. <laughs> Into the forest. Got to assume the worst. Yep. Minus two. I've, I've won one reason. I can take the mask off too. Oh, how do I... Is there an unequip? Hold on. Take it in storage. No, you can't store items you're wearing. Can I not unequip it? Huh. 
sell it. Goodbye. I don't want the mask. There we go. And I'm just like, you wouldn't want four eyes now, would you? What if I do? What if I do? What if I want like seven eyes? Why would you stop me from doing that? Anyway, come on, just let let me let me break. Break me. Uh, tap into the power. Oh, I got a spell! The spell is absorb. It costs four reason. It needs a target enemy. Okay. I just need to fight something. Oh, hey! Um, it's Father Yasugi. I'm gonna lift the heaviest box. Oh, no, I gained reason. No. Come on, give me something in the forest, please. To doom? I don't want doom. I can't believe this. Oh, here we go. Oh, you do two damage to all. So if, if I do this, do I just... There we go. I'm a minus one reason. Warning, your health dropped too low. You will die at the beginning of your next encounter. That's okay. Oh, I'm not gonna... Oh, there we go. Finally! That encounter was the final straw. Your mind has snapped and you've been locked up in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you are insane, that no old god is awaking to devour humanity. But the drugs haven't made these horrors disappear. Nice! I did it! New achievement! Wait, I got three new achievements! Nice. Which achievements was it? There! I've unlocked a new uh, Maida suit touch. That's gonna give me money, isn't it? I feel like that's gotta give me money. Maida suit touch. And then I've, I've got this. I'm, I've unlocked pain medication as an item. I don't know what the third one is. Which of these did I already have? It's not going to be one of the winning playthroughs, because I did not win. Oh, 30 achievements! No, I already had that. It's... Didn't I? Unlocks the witch's tree. I thought I already had the witch's tree. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, achievements get... Nice. Now I'm going to go lose all my stamina. Continue. Let's randomize. Let's do that one. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Sleeping through. Be me again. Might as well do the injury one if I'm going to try lose to stamina. Oh, I can just increase the difficulty. There we go. Make it easier to perish. There we go. I'm going to lose so quickly. Here we go. Oh, time to sleep. Oh, thank you for stopping in, Kura Syllabus. I hope you sleep well. Have sweet dreams about, um, not the things in this game. <laughs> thank you for stopping in. But yeah, yeah, it said I got three achievements and I have 31. But then it said that that achievement unlocked the, the witch's tree, but I already had the witch's tree. As a thing unlocked. That's why I'm confused. I'm guessing maybe I just wasn't meant to have it unlocked. Because it's um, in the forest, the witch's tree. I already had that. I don't know if maybe I wasn't meant to. But that's fine. Right, let's start. What is most likely to kill me? Oh, I just clicked it. Okay, this is, this is like a bulletin board thing. But that doesn't matter because I'm ignoring the mission. We're just heading into the forest again. Into the forest. Uh, let's destroy that shrine. Ha <laughs> ha. This can't be healthy. I lost stamina, yes. Oh, I got a note. I, for I didn't realize I forgot that there was actually a quest for this one in the forest. Well, that's all right. I'm, I'm going to perish soon. 
Oh, hello! You're surprised to find a well-dressed man sitting on a rock in the middle of a forest. When you get closer, however, you discover that he's wearing a realistic mask that falls on the ground. Do you have a moment to speak about this product? What product? Oh, hi! Dream salesman! This is one of the dreams! Okay, I'm just gonna kick you. Boom! Please hit me. No, please hit me for stamina, please. Please hit me for stamina. Please. No! Because it's always like draining either stamina, reason, or both. Oh, I, I want you to. No! I can't die like this. Um, I'm gonna run away. I need to keep my reason. I need. I need to lower my stamina. I need the stamina loss. I need the stamina ending. <laughs> ah. Okay. Let's try again. Boop. I got experience. Back from kitchen with your tea and sandwiches. Oh, welcome back. Um, I, I lost to losing all of my reason. I'm now trying to lose by losing all of my stamina and nothing is hitting me. I'm just trying to pick a fight to lose the game by stamina loss and it's not happening. <laughs> I just want to get achievements. I just want achievements. Yeah, where's a bear when you need one? I can't die like this, so, you, so I'd rather die differently. That's it. No, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like you're saying that as like a, a gotcha, but that's literally what I'm doing. I I need to die differently. <laughs> I got doom. I need something to hit me. What you thought was just a discarded pile of clothes suddenly moves. Are you gonna hit me? Oh. That's two to all. No, I need... I need it to just be something that hits me for stamina. Oh, but I think there is a way. Yeah, re regain one stamina cost two reason. I think there's like a... Regain reason cost stamina somewhere. I just don't remember where it is. Oh, no, it's not. I want it the opposite way around from this. <laughs> I think I just run. I think I run again. I need to find something that's going to physically hit me. I need something to physically hit me, please. Um, They're looking for something. Hi. Hi. Um, they tried to give me an item, but my inventory's full. Um, you know what? Put that in storage quickly. Uh, resolve this event. No, I just didn't get the item. Oh no, wait, no. They gave me a flashlight and it was just added to the storage. I also don't know what achievement I just unlocked. I wonder if there's gonna be one for just like fleeing from combat. Oh, maybe that's gonna be the achievement to like defeat the Kinako hunter without doing any damage without a weapon. But I just ran away. Hmm. Right, search the tent. Oh, I just got money. Okay. I just want something to hit me. This is so funny when I'm actively trying to lose and I can't. <laughs> but then when I when I do actually want to win, I end up like getting all of the the worst options. Oh, help the dog! Help the dog! Yes, it hurt me. Perfect. Perfect. The dog is okay. That's all that matters. This this is a win-win situation. This is great. Anyway, this is what happens when my stamina is low as well for my character, for the character mod. My face ends up looking like this. <laughs> I'm a little bit beaten up. Slightly. Would be good if I had a way to like regain reason. Oh, you know what I'll do? Let's go to the witch's tree. Um, I can get cursed. Oh, wait. 
Let's get a spell and get cursed. I am cursed with hunger. <laughs> they look tasty. That'll do. But I got a, a spell called Book of Gore. I don't want to regain them. Let's, let's just um, get one reason back. <laughs> no, it's you, you do doom, no. Maybe the forest isn't the best place to look for these. Um, I should probably go into like the city or something if I want things to hit me physically. Like, go downtown, it's probably a good spot. <laughs> I've been cursed! Oh, I've got Survivor's Guild. Great. I'm getting so many curses now. Oh, yes. Yes, that's good. I'll take that. I'll take that. Remove the stamina, please. Bum, bum, bum. I can cast a spell without paying anything. I don't have any. Come on, where's, where's the guy with the baseball bat? Why can't the guy with a baseball bat come along and hit me? Or like someone randomly mugging me. This can't be healthy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go for a jog. No, I passed the strength check. Oh no, that did help. It helped clear my mind. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, survivor's guilt on the run where I'm trying to die. <laughs> It's so funny. Okay. Oh. Let's look for clues. I'm not taking the gun. I don't want to win. Uh, should I get on the weird metro? I feel like this is going to be more reason based. I'm going to keep walking. I just want. Uh, let's go to the apartments. Apartment invader. Locations. Threat level increases. Just. Somebody hit me! <laughs> this is so funny. I can't believe I'm just here like I just want an enemy to attack me. That'll do. That'll do. Heat wave. Yep. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, let's check the bathroom. Oh, never mind. Come on. Somebody hit me. I got a spell. I got this spell. Oh, but this costs reason and stamina. If I can get in a fight now, I can just use that. And I can I can do it. <laughs> oh, it's this guy! No, you do reason damage. No, I need to run. I need to run. I can't risk dying to reason and damage. I, I need to be hit. That guy... Where's the one with a baseball bat? I feel like whenever I'm in the apartments, I always get hit by, like, a guy with a baseball bat. And he's just not showing up now. Cold bath. Yes! Yes, I couldn't handle that! <gasps> yes! <gasps> yes! Next round, I win. I, I mean, I lose. There we go, yes! Resisting the unknown horror was taking its toll on your health. Weakened, you finally succumb to your injuries, alone. As the dust settles upon your open eyes, reality starts to crumble. Old God is ready to return once more. I did it! And I got two new achievements! I don't know what the other achievement was. <laughs> but I did it! Yes, that's what I wanted! Fabulous! Oh, I'm so glad. Achievement unlocking. I've un unlocked the experimental drug item. That's interesting. Hey, what time is it? I've, I've got like four minutes. I I can do one more losing. I'll tell you what, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to do quick play. I don't know who I'll be. I'm going to quick play. And I'm going to lose to Doom. Because losing for Doom is incredibly easy. Because all you do is... Whoa, hello, your sprite changed. Go home. Confirm and continue. Continue. Nice. Let's uh, pick... Any old, any old thing. Ramen one. Now... 
watch this. Easy. Easiest way to lose. Easiest way to lose. <laughs> Easiest way to lose. There we go. Let's get doomed. Suddenly, a pair of hairy hands reach out of the shop's window and violently pull you into the darkness. A week later, a new mysterious flavor of dog treats is released and becomes a huge hit among the dog shopkeepers. I wasn't expecting that! Whoa, that wasn't the generic doom ending, that was a special one! I got minced and cooked, oh my goodness! Whoa, I didn't expect that! <laughs> That's so funny! That's so funny! Hold on, let's do it again and not do it through the shop. Oh, that's so funny! That's so funny! So I guess, like, if the doom increases in the shop, you just... You're just gone. Oh, that's so funny. I didn't think that would happen. I never realized that was a thing. That's incredible. I wonder what happens if I do it at the occult shop. Kind of want to try it. Uh, the the sailors are safe. Right. I wonder if this one's going to be different. Let's try. Okay, this is the generic one. That that was just the specific one for the, the shop then? That's so funny. That's so funny. Takataras is free once again. The invisible strands of the spider web slowly cover the entire city, entrapping everyone, including you. Wrapped in a cocoon, suspended in a near-death state, you will wait days, months, or maybe years until it's finally your turn to be eaten. There we go. My organs got liquefied by... Thakatoras's venom. And I got a new achievement! Yay! <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. I didn't think that would happen. Because I was just like, I, I was literally just like, well, if I just go to the shop and keep re-rolling and it increases the doom, that's a great way to get it up super fast. I didn't realize there was like a secret ending there. That's so good. That's so good. That is a great spot to leave it on, I think. Because it is now six o'clock, almost exactly. Wait, let me see what what I unlocked. Uh, unlocked the gruesome totem item. Nice. What was the other thing I got? It was, yeah, I got the achievement for defeating Kinoko Gatherer without any weapon by just running away. And so now there is the fungal growth status unlocked. So this is wonderful. It's lovely. But yay! That went really well! And I'm so glad the mod worked so well as well. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so very happy. Uh, I'm gonna head off and... You know what? Let, hold on. I'm done, so let me... Bloop. Let me head over here first. And I'm, I'm so happy that worked out so well. I'm so happy the mod worked as expected. <laughs> But um, I'm going to be releasing it. I'm going to be posting it on Twitter and Blue Sky. And I will also be posting it in my Discord server as well. So it will be available for anyone who wants to download it in a variety of places. But I'm so glad it worked. I'm so happy it works. And that was really fun. It's it's always nice having like my, my annual World of Hor Horror stream. <laughs> and also like the, the bonus ending at the end. It worked out well. But now it is time for me to go get some dinner. So um, I'll be posting all that up after I've had dinner, but I need to go get food first. <laughs> but this has been really fun. Thank you for the stream. Thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here. You'll, you'll put me through the mysteries and tell me. Yes, please let me know. Let me know how I do. I, I feel like I'm like a very niche kind of build with the lack of like any kind of physical skill. <laughs> But I hope you have fun. I hope you have fun playing as, as Liri. I'm so happy with it. I'm, I'm very happy. 
But yes, I need to go get some dinner now, so I think it is time to head off. But first I will find someone to send a raid on to. Let's see who's on. Who's live. Who's online. Ba -ba -ba. There's a couple of people I know online. Who do I want to raid? Oh, wait, hold on. Ooh, I know who I want to raid. I'm gonna send the raid over to Peachy, Peachale. Oh wait, she's BRB. Oh, maybe I don't. <laughs> she just went onto a, a BRB screen. I I always feel so bad like raiding into someone who's not there. <laughs> Let me find someone else. I mean, what what the heck is Yuria playing at the moment? She's also BRB. Oh my goodness, everyone I know is on their BRB screens. <laughs> Everyone's taking a break right now. I want someone to raid. Come on, somebody. Somebody who's just going, please. Uh... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, actually, you know what? You know what? Let's let's go raid Cass for us again. Let's go raid Cass. Cass is great. She she does really lovely, comfy art streams. I'm gonna send you over to Cass because everyone else is having a break in BRB. <laughs> but Cass is doing a little um, your character here commission stream. It's like a little fishing emote, and it's so cute. So I'm gonna send you over Cass's way and something to de-stress with after the stress of. Um, <laughs> everything that just happened it is time to wind down and have a nice time now but there's the raid message if you're subbed we got fire if not we got fire in honor of the torch which honestly carried me through so many fights but yes thank you for joining me today i'll be back tomorrow to finish strange horticulture which um which i've been having a lot of fun with and i'm i'm curious to know where it's gonna go we'll see how it goes but yes i'll be back for strange horticulture tomorrow and then on Friday, more Divinity. And then Sunday, more Inscription. It's, it's the same as, same as it ever was. I, I'm just keeping going. <laughs> but uh, my hair will be back to normal on Friday, though. It'll be the end of spooky season. So this is the last week of Dracula -ry. Until next year. So I will send the raid over to the lovely Cass, who's doing some lovely art. And I will go feed myself, and I feel like Tiffany has already been fed. I think somebody's fed her, because I don't hear her screaming anymore. Either that, or she's just completely given up. It's very possible she just gave up, and she's just going to be lying on the floor. <laughs> but yes, that is it from me for now. Thank you so much for joining me for the reveal of my, <laughs> my mod pack. <laughs> it's been so fun, but yes, I go eat food now. Hope everyone has a lovely rest of the day. Thank you for joining me. And until next time, bye-bye.